people. And welcome everybody. Game number one, full best of seven. Winner makes it into HC3. ACCM's in the blue. ACCM has gone for the Berbers. And look who's he he's up against. This is a weird Civ matchup here. Malians, dude. Yeah. Okay, so say my name. He chose Berbers in his best of five round one set. Then backed yesterday in a best of seven to make it into HC3, chose Berbers. And now ACCM is going Berbers. All the Vietnamese players, they play together so frequently, it seems like they have the same way of looking at things. Mm -hmm. But how well do Berbers do against Malians? That's the question mm -hmm. here. Yeah. What is this Civ matchup like? Because I, I know Malians pretty flexible in terms of what they can do. And I'm looking at that stone and the gold from ACCM, and I'm thinking Oof. maybe Say My Name is coming forward here Yeah. as soon as he sees that. Yeah, so this is how I would sum it up. I would say that Malians are certainly more flexible. Uh, with the fact that their wood buildings are cheaper, they can do so much more throughout the game. They also have uh, full camel, they have full full knights, uh, but those knights are not discounted, Dave. With Berbers, you have very cheap knights and camels, so I think Castle Age is probably where Berbers need to shine. Mm -hmm. If this goes post-imp, and then the Malian player has the resources to get whatever text he might want. Berbers I think Malian really is better. Struggle. Yeah, yep. yeah. And uh, Berbers struggle like early, and then they but the mid game, the yeah. mid game. That's where you got to get to, and you got to have a stable economy when you get there. If you're ACCM, or as we've seen with ACCM in the past, he could just go forward as well. True. You never know with these these guys. So yeah, uh, I feel like. Berbers are an underrated forwarding civilization because of the villager speed. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember, and also you can go for greedy walls with them too, because you can maybe make it back to your base if you get attacked. Um, I remember MBL in the... What event was it? it? I think it was the event where... Oh, you have one civil... The Mono Civ Cup. It was a small oh, weekend yeah. event, and he had Berbers, and he would just wall his base early every game with the fast fills, which I found interesting. Hmm. All right, so you see some walling. I mean, these are normal houses that you'd have to build, but maybe an area that ACCM wants to block off. I, I definitely feel like the elevation could make things awkward for ACCM. And the gold positions, this is, I would say, a solid Arabia map. It's going to be awkward. Uh, it might be a little bit more structured for Say My Name if he wants to go for walls in this game. I'm just looking at, like, all the red. Um, it's just, like, other than the wood. Yeah. It's awful. Yeah. Look at the gold, the stones. Both his secondary golds are like near hills or far away from his base. It's just, it's not good at all. Yeah, I, both players have secondary gold problems, though. The Say My Name has one forward. Well, I'd say two of them are pretty exposed, though. One, you could maybe town center. So I, I like this map, Jen. It's, it's not... First off, we don't have Aztecs or Mayans in game one, so we don't expect full wall, which is nice. Um, but also, it's it's not a map that they could wall, even if they had a heavy wall sieve. Like maybe Spanish with the build speed, but um, I'm expecting scouts here, Dave, but when's the last time you saw Berbers versus Malians? <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, I so can't weird. even remember it, this matchup. I, someone's probably going to be like, Dave, you casted that two months ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I've never, I, I don't remember ever seeing this matchup on Arabia. It's so interesting to me how they're both looking for each other right now, and they're both the same distance away from the other's TC. They're this game. Look, look at how they're approaching the the enemy base at around the same time, and they're even yeah, at they're the deer. They're both hooking in. <laughs> yeah, they're both hooking in. Yeah, that's so interesting to me. Uh, but ACCM finds that villager's walling. Uh, you could decide to attack that villager if you want to, and he goes in for it. The loom is on the way. This will actually be pretty close as another villager comes in here. Dave, will that villager go down or will ACCM lose the scout? Oh man, that hurts. To lose that much scout HP is not yeah, good. Not optimal at all. <laughs> you didn't even like you didn't even get a villager. It's not worth it yep. in any way. Yeah, that Look loom timing was perfect. ACCM. Oh my goodness. Okay. So So what ACCM has done, he's going to feudal a bit later. Normally with 21 population scout builds, you'll float a villager to wall, basically. Whereas the, the 20 pop builds, you're not going to see as heavy walling. Uh, though with Malians, I guess you can afford it a bit more because everything's a bit cheaper. Okay. Looks very much like scouts. You didn't see any player go to gold early. You'll see the barracks come up for ACCM, I'm sure. 
but say my name will be slightly more comfortable because his scout's on full HP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can dictate where the fights happen mm -hmm. in early feudal. It's funny, I, I keep having to resist the urge to like press the fast forward button. You know? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been doing it. I've been doing it so much whenever I watch games lately and it's like... <clears throat> Hmm. I'll, I'll I'll stay with you. What time are you at right uh, now? Uh, I'm nine twenty, so I imagine we're really close. Oh, we're right on top of it. Yeah, and the the recorded game speed it doesn't speed up and slow down like the live game speed does sometimes, so there's really no concerns with it. Um, these two again, they know each other well. They're di discussing things with each other there. I think there was probably a pause, and the other player was thinking, "I thought I was playing Say My Name or ACCM, not backed." <laughs> so. What were you uh, What were you saying about neither player being fully walled? Uh, they'll like get there. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting there, dude. <laughs> yep. Like they're man. If ACCM gets that one little patch in the wood line behind his face, yep, and he manages to secure this gold, that would be huge. If he managed to secure that. Yeah, this is the thing. When you're both going to scouts, it oftentimes turns into full wall your base, make three or four scouts, and then stop. Mm -hmm. It's so interesting, but. It makes sense to still have the scouts for all that map control. And it's not like you can, um... It, I've seen players full wall their base and go spears to counter scouts and not add the stable. But then, your opponent adds archers, your spears are done, and they have scouts and archers. So it's yeah. a bit of a weird thing that the scouts don't do much damage. But it looks like full walls are up for ACCM. And uh, like I said about these golds, Dave, the golds are not great for either player. All golds are a bit exposed, even with the walls. Yeah, and the way that ACCM is walled has actually made his gold better than yeah. uh, Say My Name's right now. Mm -hmm. Are we calling him Yellow, Say My Name, we're, Red? We'll just we'll just have to go back and forth. I, it, the sad thing is, there's not enough people out there who know that he's Yellow. Yeah. And I I told him, I played him in a few matches months back, and I, I didn't, I'm not aware like, how much they watch streams or whatever, so I told him every time that we cast you and we say Say My Name, chat says our name. And he says, he said, lols, L-O-L-Z, lols. <laughs> I think that's why he made the name, though, if I remember correctly. Maybe. I think he, he tried to change his name from Yellow, and everyone was calling him, just kept calling him Yellow. Yeah. So he changed his name to say my name. <laughs> if he picks, if he picks Yellow, it wouldn't be too bad, but he never does. <laughs> he never yeah. goes for Yellow. I think he's a troll, man. T90 official, did you know Bax got married? Yeah, it was literally his username yesterday during his best of seven. <laughs> Bax just married? <laughs> yeah. I was aware. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like he changed his name to Bax married. Uh, so yeah, everyone's pretty aware of that, my friend. Uh, okay, right, ACC, stone. Going to stone. Yep. Hmm. Castle? Camel archers? All right. I mean, they'd be good in the castle age. It's just if you're teching into it, as your like ultimate yeah. composition, you might struggle. Take some time, and it's so expensive. Yeah. You build the castle, 650 stone, then you need the units, then you still can't fall behind an economy. But what's interesting now is, say my name, is adding a range, Dave. If he goes for an archer switch, he can range some of that stone. So mm -hmm. it's important for ACCM to have some game sense or notice this somehow. Because otherwise it's trouble. It. <laughs> All of it. Yeah, <laughs> Not yeah. some of it, man. Yeah. Every single stone within uh, reach of ACCM's base, he can range. So, if he gets him off that, suddenly ACCM either has to buy a castle or has to tech switch into something else. Yeah, and this is just another example of why having scouts is so important. Because if he has them in the right area, he'll see the archers are on the way, and then he can easily tower. But I still wouldn't say that it's great if he has to tower like this. I love the archer switch from Say My Name because the gold can be ranged by crossbow, the stone, the wood line even. I think every wood line, almost every area, can be ranged by crossbows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't really think uh, knights are going to get you that much in this situation. Yeah. But, but then you also have to think about ideal compositions. And if ACCM is able to get Camel Archers rolling, I feel like that's fantastic in this matchup. Whereas Malian... Malians are so interesting with their Archer Switch because they, they benefit from the faster university upgrades. So they can go for fast ballistics and crossbow but they do not have the best uh, ranged units in Imp. So mid-game, probably better for Malians, but maybe if ACCM holds on, he'll be better off. Will yeah, you need that hard switch. It's kind of like uh, Mongols if you're not going for Mangada in Castle Age. Yeah. The Malians are like a similar thing where all of a sudden you've got this incredibly expensive switch yeah. coming up. 
and you know you just have to delay until you get to that uh, that army. Okay, so ACCM just spotted the archers, and now he's building a tower on his stone. Yep. And they're both about to click up, Dave. That's gonna that's gonna put him back quite a bit, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If uh, if say my name hadn't gone for the archer choice. Suddenly, ACCM has a castle probably right as he hits uh, Castle Age. Yeah. yeah. Now he's going to have to delay. Yeah, and uh, ACCM is playing super safe too, so he's stonewalling this southern side. Uh, now, now here's what I want to bring up. Uh, we didn't talk about it before the series. I think ACCM is one of the most prepared players in this qualifier. Um, he was, he was, uh, I don't want to say bothering me because it's a good thing, but he was messaging me nonstop before we released the maps. He was like, I want the maps. I want the maps. And then two days, I'd say, oh, well, we'll have them out tomorrow. And then there was a delay and he messaged me and said, where are the maps? Like he really wanted to train. And also, uh, Dave, I don't know if you caught this yesterday, but Bact was now, uh, viewers, this is a spoiler. Okay. I'm going to spoil who won the set between Bact and Licks yesterday. So I saw he was down. Yeah. And I was like, who is this Lix? So, <laughs> is this 2017 Lix? Listen to this. Lix was up 3 1 over Bact. And yeah. ACCM told me on Discord, he said, when Bact was 3 1 down, he called me and asked for a few strategy tips for the upcoming maps. Cheater! <laughs> you can't have coaches? <laughs> what is this? So, listen, listen. And I in game seven, I recalled that ACCM and Bact had played. Uh, ravines and ACCM went for some greedy Khmer boom. That's exactly what Bact did. Bact ended up coming back and winning 4-3. So the tips from the teammate, man, it, it paid off a little bit there. Anyways, my point is, is he's off. prepared. Imagine yeah, exactly. That. Yeah, <laughs> imagine that. Well, I, I hope he can get something done, but I also hope that Say My Name can get something done because yeah. they're both my boy, but Say My Name is a little bit more. Yeah. So we'll see. He's trying to pressure this um, southern side, but ACCM walling behind it, so I don't really think this is going to do anything. Yeah, how important were the stone walls, though? If he didn't stonewall there, he would have been completely overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah. It was a good piece of foresight there. I just... I... I there's a reason that most pros are not going Berbers and Camel Archers, though. Uh, you're seeing it right now. There's still no castle for ACCM. Say my name. Was able to reach Castle Age, add a second TC, add a third TC, and have an army. Going yep. for going for Camel Archers is so incredibly difficult. I'm still very surprised that some of these Vietnamese players like to do it. I think, uh, say my name, yeah, he's mixing in some camels too. Because mm -hmm. I think he knows the Camel Archers are coming up. Yeah. So you mix in the camels, you have the crossbows, and all of a sudden, Camel Archers can't really do any damage to your base. ACCM is, is now going into some knights. He actually added a second stable. So It's just slow. Uh, this is so slow. Uh, again, it's it's a bit weird to add. If you want to go for the cheap Berber knights, commit to it. Don't also go to stone heavily, because if you commit to it, you can get plus two defense. You can fight these crossbows. It's just... He's kind of all over the place, but he does have some knights, and he's also placing his castle now, which is what he wanted. Well, just look at the villager count and look at the military count. Yeah. Say my name is killing him on both counts, so... It's I don't... crazy. Here comes the castle. He's going to secure the gold. He's going to secure another stone he can take. And he's going to have the camel archers coming out. Ooh. Meanwhile, he is trying to go in to say my name's base. Oh, the house wall. That was a sick that house sick. wall. That was sick, man. That could have been so annoying. Yeah. Imagine he just got back in there and started running around the farms and stuff. Yep. Would have pulled all I'm that army if, back. I'm wondering if there's a siege workshop potential from Say My Name. You know the castle's there. Mm -hmm. But, like, is it worth it to get a, a mangonel out on the field? I think you just play into your strengths of boom right now. You know that the Malian TCs are cheaper, all your houses are cheaper, all that stuff's cheaper. He's about to get ballistics too, which is super fast. So I think you just boom, man. Um, and then in the mid game, you, you have to decide what you commit to. You know, we talked about Mali and Crossbows not being all that great, or I guess the Archer line not being great long term. But what's better versus Camel Archers in the mid game? Crossbows with Ballistics or Camels? It's got to be crossbows. crossbows. Yeah. yeah, it's Crossbows. The Camels can force the uh, Camel Archers to engage in a fight, basically, and mm -hmm. trap them against the Crossbows. But basically what you're using is the Crossbows to kill the Camel Archers. And the Crossbows are coming in this left side now, yeah. too. 
I, I think... Don't know if they can do damage, but they can certainly create some idle time, some stress. Yeah, I mean, you have the boom lead, <clears throat> you're applying pressure. Say My Name will have no complaints about this one, that's for sure. Uh, ACCM is just now adding his third town center, and he does not have anywhere near the military that he would need to actually fight what Say My Name has. I think what Say My Name needs to do here is get Relics, Dave. This is obviously yep. going to imp, it normally does, but you have an eco lead, and one way that your opponent can come back is if they get Relics and hold on. So that's what I'd be thinking about if I were him. He's actually got really good scouting. Um, he... Wow. On this patch, the auto uh, scout feature is not enabled, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. That would be so funny just to see him using auto scout in a. I, I feel like game. in the main event, if we're using that patch, which has yet to be announced what we're doing yet, that would be hilarious. But also, yeah. like, we always used to look and say, okay, who's going for 100% scouting? Viper confirmed. But now, mm -hmm. if there's auto scouting, you never know. <laughs> there's yeah. got to be a way to, to figure it out. I'm sure we can tell. We'll, we'll tell. Trust me. You put on that auto scout and just watch it move around. You can tell. <laughs> so it's a robot. You can tell. Yeah. I think... Say my name is still adding crossbows. I think at this point he needs to start thinking about. Um, he's already got the mass mm -hmm. that he needs. Like, start thinking about what you're going to transition into. I don't think the crossbows, like you said, are going to be super effective in imp. Yeah. And that's probably enough to hold back whatever Castle Age Army ACCM has. Well, he here's here's what's interesting. I think when you know when you had a fourth TC like ACCM is doing. Normally that means a much longer Castle Age commitment. And he's also getting plus two armor on his knights. So with that in mind, I think it's probably a good idea to, to make a lot of army. Just to make oh, sure you maintain comes. your lead. Oh man. Yeah, I still think with plus two knights you can't fight that. There's camels no. and crossbows there. You couldn't fight the crossbows with that army, mm -hmm. let alone with the camels there. So ACCM is going to have to... I think his plan here is just try and draw this army away yeah um get a little bit of his eco rolling and then maybe hit with a counter attack i yeah see say my name's looking for him right now mm -hmm. yeah I, I really like how accm was able to protect those golds with the town centers though i think that was considering he doesn't have a military force to fight say my name easily that was good um maybe accm can run in like he tried before and get some pickoffs there is an exposed gold here no villagers there but we're seeing both players heading towards the enemy base. Uh, they're not engaging with their military, and that's two villagers picked off there from Say My Name. Well played. He's had quite a bit of pressure mm -hmm. this game, considering ACCM's been walled the whole time. And oh my goodness, did he do it again? Dave, that gold is... There's six gold left on that tile. <laughs> like, oh jeez. If he's not paying attention, he will mine through that and the knights get in. But no, he's sending the camels back. Yeah, great the reaction. Might get in through this gate. Actually, okay, roll, running away and trying to wall the knights in against the camels. What? That was beautiful. What a play! Sick. Can the camels even move? Have they just decided to engage? Oh, this is a disaster for ACCM. I mean, the knights will still win that fight if he takes it straight up. But yeah. Now the crossbows are coming back. Wow. Wow, that's so good though. That's amazing. Good All those play. knights will go down. What what a huge play. Already has the lead. <clears throat> Even recognized that uh, the knights could have run in again and made sure the wall was up. And he's on and his way to the him. Imperial Age. Wow. Yep. That was sick. And he's he added his, uh, was that, fourth TC outside? Yeah. So his boom is even better than ACCM's at the moment. He's up to Imperial Age faster. He has a better military. Let's just hope. I, I, he's he's going to place a castle near that Mangano. Oh, okay. God, dude. Okay. This this is when he's most vulnerable, right? ACCM is yep. flooding knights. Like, like I said, extended castle age. Berbers are so good with that, with the cheap knights. I think you cannot place a castle there. I think you no, need to back he's... up. Yeah, I think he took the foundation away, and he's just making stables at his base. Okay. Okay. Whew. I'm so nervous, man. That's like that's the number one way to throw a game from a winning position. Yep. Is an aggressive castle. Yeah, people laugh and they think, "Aha, doubt." But no, doubt doesn't. When doubt's winning, he doesn't. He doesn't do that. He, he does that when do he's that. losing. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, dude, this is this is still a bit dangerous. That's a lot of crossbows on the hill. Just needs to avoid Good the micro, mango. Though. Good micro so far. Yeah, quality micro. Oh, oh. oh. 
<laughs> so too soon. This is tough, man. I, he lost yeah. a few crossbows, but I think with the mo oh, another hit. That Just, Maginel's a hero, though. Wh why aren't the camels and knights going after it? Is my question. That's really what he should have done. Take that out with your camels here, and don't don't allow him to get another shot. There you go. And now you're an imp. Uh, there's still some momentum issues. Like, what is he going to commit to? It looks like camel over any archer upgrades, but... Now Say My Name needs to get a big fight, man. He needs to engage, he needs to buy himself a whole lot of time. Uh, can he do so with these knights? Uh, I think he has to run from the knights, but luckily he's got the castle right there. He's not even, like, researching any technologies it's weird. right now. Yeah. Yeah, like... What? What is he waiting for? Like, he doesn't... No, he does have resources to at least get heavy camel. Yeah. See, ACCM needs to pay attention to his units because there's a few times, sometimes it's just the reality, DE units freeze up a little bit when you're running away. Mm -hmm. And you, you gotta pay attention to that because that's twice now his units, he just didn't click them twice. It's unfortunate, but... What is Say My Name, what is Yellow doing? Like, he's making one treb, but no techs are coming in here. Like, why... Why dude, could imp dude, <laughs> you're not gonna dude. research And anything. the knights are going to the right side and ACCM. Right is the castle. Oh no. The, you're right, Dave. Okay, now he's getting heavy camel. Now he's producing some camels, but something went wrong there. Uh, he just took his foot off the gas completely after arriving to the Imperial Age. Yep, he wasn't even producing camels. Yeah. Like, I can understand producing and not researching yep. heavy camel, but luckily for him, this castle is going to go up. The knights didn't do too much damage yeah. and he's actually trebbing the forward castle from ACCM yeah fortunately he was in a position to take his foot off the gas he was ahead already yeah uh, and he's protect I like how he's protecting the trebs he probably needs to get something more than just the crossbows there since the crossbows um, the crossbows won't be enough against a lot of knights and he there he goes sending the camels there I like it I'd love to see it like a villager come over and build some gates around them or something yeah some sort of fortification around the trebs and you can repair them when the knights come in because they will come in eventually so it's worth mentioning one relic for say my name two for accm but there are two very close to say my name's base but accm is going to snag one so accm will actually after the lack of map control that he had in castle age mm -hmm. have more relics assuming that gets back to his base yeah it was a, it was a good play from him to flood knights yeah and stay in castle age a little bit longer just to push back Say My Name, because if Say My Name had gotten a castle up on that hill, mm -hmm. which he would have if ACCM didn't flood knights, then ACCM would be looking at a completely different situation. Ooh, right ACCM would like to make a counter treb from that castle, and the castle goes down, so uh, I stopped repairing that one. I wonder how this fight will go, though, Dave, because you're looking at heavy camels, counter to cavalier, but with way less upgrades. ACCM will have Cavalier, more numbers, full armor, and plus two, and there's no attack upgrades on the Heavy Camels for, for Say My Name. He's thinking about it. He's coming in. Okay, now they're kind of backing yeah. off again. Yeah, it's a tough they're choke. Nervous. It's not an easy choke to, to fight in, and the stones, Dave, you mentioned it earlier. That stone's exposed, so if he can't take that stone, good luck getting more castles. Oh, here he comes! I think Say My Name wins this fight here. I think so as well. If he engages with the camels. Yep, has full armor now. Yeah. Also the choke, the crossbows are helping a little bit. What is this engagement for ACCM? Why did he even run this way? Maybe he was trying to pull off the army so he could attack from the left and kill the trebs. And he's trying here. He could go in and snipe the trebs, maybe delay things a bit. Don't go for the crossbows! Was that a patrol that went wrong there? What happened? Take out those trebuchets, man. He's not going for the trebs at all. I mean, they are just trebbing a house, so maybe he's going for the army. I uh, did he's get a few cavalier. On both sides, though. Yeah. Like he's losing all his cavalier numbers oh. right now. He's got a few oh, in the eagle, my God. but like on the right side, he just got wrecked. Farimba came in, Dave. Farimba yeah. came in, and I didn't expect it to be coming in. I don't think ACCM did either, so he didn't kill any trebuchets. The the raid within this base will be short lived, and there's just army everywhere for say my name. And with Farimba, camels are actually an extremely good raiding unit. Yeah. Seven plus six, and Iron Casting is coming in right now, too. These are some beefy camels, and that's a beefy castle that's about to go down on <laughs> ACCM's face. This is what we said at the start. If it gets to post-imp technologies, we prefer Malians. 
And, yeah. and Berber's mid-game, that's the only way this makes sense for them. But I feel like we saw what the Berber's mid-game can offer, and it, it wasn't quite enough. Was the castle a mistake? Should ACCM have just committed to full knights? We'll see. But this is some crazy pressure from Say My Name, who is the... What, what's the seed? Seed 11 against seed 6. Monastery is going to go down. The relics are going to pop out. Yep. There, I, there's nothing you can do against these camels. You can't fight that. No, you can no, make your you own. Can't. That's it. But, like, yours don't have plus seven. <laughs> exactly. So. They're cheaper. Wow. And so it could be five relics for Say My Name soon. Uh, oh, by the way, Say My Name notices that ACCM's on this gold, and yep. he sent a light cab that... Man, this guy is all over the place. He's looking no, that so light good. Cab, that light cab's been sitting there the entire game because there was a wolf there. So he's sitting right <laughs> next to the wolf, waiting for the villagers to come. The wolf attacked, and the light cab killed it. Yeah. Now it's going to raid. No, it's a hero. No woo-woo, yeah. No woo-woo for you, and I think no it's win for ACCM. Fight. Yeah. That's incredible. These camels, Malians, insane, and Say My Name wins game number one, the Vietnamese showdown. First game goes to him. I, I have to say, Dave, when I think back about this game and the Berber pick, I, it still doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. If you want to take advantage of the Berber strengths, I think instead of going for the stone at all, you just go to Castle Age and you flood knights and camels right yep. away. Yep. And I think maybe the archer choice uh, producing them that early caught him off guard. Having yeah. to build that tower really set him back. That's true. Like it set him back like two minutes. He could have had camel archers on the field um, hitting yellow and keeping him at home. But instead, he had to kind of go half and half. He went half like into the castle and then half into the stable production. He didn't he create didn't even a single make, camel archer. Yeah. He didn't make any camel archers. Yeah, very peculiar. But he got peculiar. the castle up in, like, early castle age regardless, so behind from the beginning. Yeah, this is what's fascinating about Hidden Civ uh, with Aztecs and Mayans banned. Like, wh what do you pick on Arabia? And so maybe it's also difficult to know what to expect. And when he saw he was up against Malians, he just didn't know what to go for there. But like I had said during that cast, ACCM is very prepared. I know he has home maps, and I know he's ready to go today. Uh, just one last thing, guys. I'll show you the achievements. A say my name with more kills. Uh, more food, wood, stone collected. He was just behind in gold, which I'm sure he would have had. So home maps we didn't talk too much about. Um, we, we restructured this on our screens for the viewers at home. Game 1's Arabia. Game 4 and Game 7 are in order there. Those are set maps. But for the next game, we go for ACCM's home map choice. He has Islands, Dave. He has hideouts, and he has cup. Uh, could be any of those for the next game. What would you go for in his position? Feel like, what have you seen on his stream? Uh, he's a good water player. So it doesn't yeah. surprise me he chose... Um, sorry, I need to adjust this here. It doesn't surprise me he went for the islands pick. So maybe you just go for islands, try and get a momentum swing, and take it from there. Yeah, maybe. I... Yeah, I don't really see Say My Name playing that many water maps in general. Oh my god. I've seen him playing like mega random, but... Alright, you ready? Let's hop into game number two. I was slightly spoilered here because the, the wrecks do show the sieves. Guys, welcome to game number two. It is on Hideout, not a water map. And ACCM has gone for Kumins. Wow. So Kumin Boom then? Is that is that the plan? Fast Feudal into a Kumin Boom and, and Say My Name has gone Britain's, Dave. Mm -hmm. You can, with Cumans, you can even afford to like Fast Feudal Boom and then send a few villagers <laughs> forward. Maybe <laughs> some shenanigans as well. Yeah. Um, if you see exposed resources, it's a really like, it's a really stable build, I'd say. Mm -hmm. So I think if Say My Name sees that ACCM has picked Cumans, this is pretty much what you expect here. Uh, mm -hmm. Cumans are the only civilization to be able to build a second TC in the Feudal Age, it is probably their strongest bonus. I, we've seen the Step Lancers get nerfed. The Kip Checks are kind of underwhelming, but they still have Paladin. They still have strong options to go for, but it, it's mainly the Eco. So I expect 20 population, maybe even earlier than that Feudal Age, into a second Town Center. And if you're, if you're in Yellow's position, Dave... What do you do against that? Do you go all in pressure or do you just do your thing as Britons? You could just, if you know that's happening, 
why not just go FC and then get those Britain cheap TCs down? That's what I'm thinking too. Yeah. So yeah, like what wins in the end? You know. Yeah. Obviously, the Cummins get uh, more villagers in feudal age, but then they're in feudal age, and Britons having cheap TCs. I honestly don't think this changes the game plan for Say My Name too much. Like, you can still go maybe one range crossbows with a boom with Britons. Apply yeah, some type of the, pressure. The only thing you want to avoid is trying to go like half and half, you know? That's true. Like, even the one range crossbows kind of makes me a bit nervous here because okay. you're going to fall so far behind if none of his res are exposed. Obviously, it depends on where his resources yeah. are, right? Yeah, but I, uh, I feel like if you're going for boom, you might as well just go for boom. I think the the one negative thing there is Britons, it's so important to them to start massing their archers early and keep that number yeah. up. So if you do commit to the boom and then you start producing your archers at the time that the Kumin guy starts producing their knights, then the knights are going to be better in lower numbers. But this is interesting, man. I, I said he was prepared and I said he was practicing, but I was not expecting to see this from ACCM. It was funny. Last night I was watching uh, Yellow Stream, yeah. and he was playing Hideout, and he actually went, he went Khmer, really, uh, forward villagers into a tower rush, but he built the stable because you don't have to build the barracks, right? Uh. So he built the forward stable. So it was like tower rush scouts with Khmer. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Yeah, I mean, it was a really weird. Like I hadn't seen anything like that. I already I've seen in the qualifiers. I think the diversity of the map pool has a lot to do with it, because we have five maps that are never played. But it's so cool to me to see how many different players prefer different strats. Uh, notably, the Vietnamese players. We we mentioned how uh, ACCM went Khmer on Ravines. He was the first person... Oh no, Bax did that. He was the first person to do that in the qualifier. Uh, all of them are picking Berbers. It's, it's cool to see. That's how the game should be, you know? It shouldn't be always the Civ, always... Britons all the time. Says the guy that loves 1v1 hunt. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I like it because it's fun. <laughs> all right. I like it because it's fun, not because it's the best, Dave. <laughs> hmm. I love that. What Civ should I practice with Huns? Always Huns. Yes. Practice with Huns. Yep. Listen, Huns. I know all, you all need, of your lines. All you need to be a good player is play over 3,000 Hun Wars. You could also right. play over 3,000 of anything and improve. Man, this boar is trolling <laughs> yellow so hard. Really? He's got half the HP off the boar already just <laughs> from shooting it with one. So, Dave, you know what I was thinking about this morning as I was having my morning blue coffee? What mm. if you're expect like, Brins is a pretty... Co oh my god, dude, this boar. The boar is, like, it's the worst. It's actually the worst. It deserves to die. Um, So, if Brins is a common pick on hideout, which I'd say it is. And we end up playing... It doesn't even matter the balance. Let, let's just say we play the, the current balance that we're playing with this patch. Do you think anyone in Hidden Cup 3 will pick Goths? Do you think we're going to see that at any point? You know what? <clears throat> hideout, you can almost get away with Goths. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, as just a straight counter pick. feel like and, MBL would do it. Uh, yeah, but... M <sighs> <laughs> the problem with MBL, and we've said this before, is <laughs> MBL loses like 3k ELO when the tournament is pick civs. Like, he needs to just be told what civ to pick. When the, the, the less mind games, the better for MBL, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, we're listen, Dave and I just have a bit of PTSD because MBL in Hidden Cup 1 finals chose Goths when Goths he was expecting. On Arabia. Yeah, he chose Goths on Arabia. And Goths on a map like this, like, like Dave said, you can kind of get away with it. We are going to see a second TC, by the way, but yeah, that, that kind of broke our hearts there because he was playing so good in that series. Well, it's kind of like, what civs can't you get away with it Yeah. As Goths? And are they likely to pick that civ? New Goths. I feel like... Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, Britain's Mines, you can get away with it. Um, and they're fairly... Uh, maybe not Mines on a hideout, but... Well, the new gods, likely. Uh, we shouldn't spend too much time talking about this because this isn't the balance we're playing the qualifiers with, but if the main event is played with new gods, it was an absolute mistake from Forgotten Empires to give gods a 35% discount in Dark Age. It should have been something else because it's nuts what you can do with them. So it's very realistic in the main event. We'll see a lot of gods if we play with that balance. Um, Dave, I don't like ACCM's Town Center. I think 
If you're going for the second TC, delete some of those palisade walls and build the TC on the other side to protect the gold. Yep. Protect it, especially against Britons. Like, you know the crossbows are going to come in, right? Yeah. You want it on the outside so that you can't range your gold villagers safely. Whereas from... Whoa, 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 whoa. How... He's already in feudal... What is... Say my name... Dave? He's, go he's going archers. Double, double, double range? You said... Kaido? You said commit... And we thought he'd commit like to the it. boom, but he's committing Don't to full commit archers. To the boom. No, commit to archers. Do it. Third range. That's what I want to see. Third <laughs> range. Well, Let's commit. I think you should probably go for a blacksmith first so we can get fletching, but... So full boom versus full archers is the plan, but if Say My Name doesn't do a significant amount of damage, I feel like ACCM will love this, and he's also gone to stone at home so he could build towers if need be. Smart, mm -hmm. smart move. <clears throat> yeah, if he gets a tower up on that stone, like, where does yellow pressure bust into his base where does he pressure he's done him a favor like you said by putting the tc on the other side of that gold yeah can tower so. it easily i i just i'm curious to see how this goes but i really disagree with going feudal age because you put yourself in a position where you have to kill fast on a map with walls and if you don't kill, then you see the vill difference already. It's 31 for ACCM. That's just going to continue to grow. We'll see, man. But maybe ACCM, he hasn't scouted it. I noticed that much. Uh, he figures this is a fast castle. Just a very early uptime. Uh, he is not seeing the ranges at all. So I guess the best thing Say My Name has done for himself is hide the ranges. Well, he can probably see on the score, though. Maybe. What's happening, yeah. He doesn't seem to be looking for it, and he, he hasn't pre-towered. So I'm I'm not so sure. It's just like, where do you get in? Where can you consistently get in here? Maybe on the right side of his base, but even if you do that... Yeah, the wall's behind you that. Can wall behind it, yeah. That's I mean, he, to be fair, if you get map control around his base and he's stuck in here, then you can pressure more in yeah. Castle Age. But the vill difference is just going to be huge. Yeah, see, I don't think ACCM knew about this, Dave, because that tower is not the best it's tower. It's tower. <laughs> How are you going to take that stone? What are you doing? That is a low elo legend tower, but it's a reaction to the pressure coming in. If he knew it was coming, I think he towers in front of it slightly, and he's good. He's still going to be okay. His vill lead is going to be maintained. He can still take the stone, but at least that's something for Say My Name. Still producing archers constantly. Yeah, you know, like... Let's go. Okay, so Say My Name's castle time is going to be way slower than he would have got if he went fast cast. But mm -hmm. his archer numbers are going to be three times as high. So he'll have way more archers when he does eventually get to Castle Age. So what do you do with, with your economy if you're ACCM? Is it knights here? Is it kip checks? I think it's got to be, like, Siege Workshop, no? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking, what are you building up towards? Yes, you have the economy, but still not sure what ACCM will actually want to go with here. This is some good pressure, forcing another tower. He's forced a lot out of them here. Yeah. But still, I mean, he's up by, what, 13 villagers? So <laughs> yep. <laughs> idle time means nothing to me. <laughs> yep. But this is also a map that... Involves a lot of map control and and positioning. If Say My Name ever falls behind, he could just stonewall to the edge of the map yep. and keep all the pressure away. And we he know could stonewall right in front of AC Sam's base. He could, he could wall like him he's in. Got, yeah, he's got all the. Maybe that's the play. <laughs> maybe that is the play. You would be so excited. I I can. I really hope that happens, just so I can hear Dave's excitement when the villagers come forward to wall. Wall him in. Wall him in. This is definitely one of those situations where I can hear the YouTube comment now from someone. Like, why? Why isn't he walling him in? But it, it makes yeah. a whole lot of sense. Sometimes pro players are so stupid. Why don't they just wall them in? <laughs> <laughs> well, in this case, I feel like walling in the actual base is silly, but walling the sides is not. Yeah, so walling the sides is something you should be doing. And if he can pick off that scout from ACCM, that would be huge too. Mm-hmm. I see ACC. I'm going for a barracks, so he's probably gonna go stable. Um, yeah, yep. it's gotta Armor be coming in now. All right, Dave. So ACCM is halfway to Castle Age. Fifty-three villagers against thirty-eight. That's that's a huge difference. He will definitely have the economy to go for plus two and a few knights. 
However, say my name is just clicked up and he has 19 archers on the field. So, I mean, that will probably turn into 25 or 30 by the time he's in Castle Age. He could still go for cheap TCs behind it. He'll be way behind in economy, but can you kill that many crossbows? Double stable. You get the knight armor. Mm -hmm. If you get enough knights out, you can catch him. And then suddenly your eco looks a lot better. And he's walling. Say my name is walling on the right hand side. And he sent two villagers because he knows about the wolves. Ah, yeah, he knows about the wolves. I also think he knows there's a scout out there. That scout could play yeah. a role. Now that um, ACCM is going to be going knights, those scouts will be upgraded too. Or this scout, yeah, rather. The scout is coming back. Oh, no. Greeting? Um. You're still looking at 15 HP? Oh, 21 HP? If he gets plus two, he can do it for sure. Yeah. Well, more than anything, I think ACCM scouting the relics and now I'll say my name's doing the wise move to run back. It does kind of bother me he hasn't walled the left as well, but I can understand that he probably wants to save stone for town centers. That's, a, that's going to be a lot of archers. You have to micro and you still are behind by 20 bills. Like, oh, that's so big, but... He saw we'll the see. scout on the right, quick walled it out. Okay. So that wall is going to go up for sure, and then nice. he's only got to focus. That That's really good for him, because when you're playing archers, you don't want to split your forces. True. You want them all in one place. Yeah. So, I just want to go back to what we were talking about in Dark Age. I still feel like, if Say My Name goes for Fast Castle with one range, he'd be in ca he would have been in Castle Age six minutes ago. And on a second TC at the very least. He wouldn't have 27 crossbows. But I think they wouldn't be down by however many villagers he's down right now. That's a huge difference. So these crossbows have to pay off now. And these are Kuman Knights with extra speed. There will also be some siege behind it. This could be dangerous yep. for Say My Name. Well, he's about to get ballistics here. And he's actually dropping third TC now. Mm -hmm. Getting some monks out. Snag the relics, convert the knights maybe. Yeah. But Manganels and Knights from ACCM, and he's got a much better economy behind it, so... Yeah, and... Only time will tell. Yeah, and w with ACCM's position, you actually don't need to push. It's now it's now Yellow who needs to push. So, he's adding those TCs, it's good. You're looking at 43 to 67, so... I think the Kumans have definitely paid off here. It could be a realistic counter to the Britons, at least if the Britons are played the way that Say My Name has decided to play them. Look at that villager difference. It's crazy. Oh my god. Nice. 24. Yeah, I think... And I have... I, this is just game sense, if you could call it that. I think if you go for the FC1 range, you're looking at about 15 crossbows right now. And you probably are down by still 15 or 10 bills. Obviously depends. But okay, counter siege now. And I also like that... Yellow has added some monks to maybe get some conversions, because if you get one, that knight could just turn around and attack the siege that ACCM has. No Mangano coming out from Say My Name. So just building the siege workshop, yep. leaving it there. No gold yet. Ooh, he but... does have ballistics, though. Oh, this is man. Gonna be a good fight for him. It's a real good fight for him. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, keep those numbers up. In theory, Dave, you can be behind 20 vils. But if you end up having 40 plus ranged units as Britons, you can fight anything. Um, well, not anything, but take most fights in Castle Age, certainly. And he's getting the relics. Like, he's got those two on the side for free. Is he patrolling? He's got the one in the middle. Okay. He noticed it. He's got Britain range. He's fine. This is and still the monkey's dangerous. coming out. Dangerous for both players, though. Yeah. The monkey's out there. You know what I'm seeing a lot of here? Have you been watching ACCM stream recently and noticing some lag? I've been noticing lag when he plays, and I have not seen units freeze. Like, I've seen ACCM's units freeze today. And I wasn't sure if it was just when he was streaming or what, but that's a couple times he just makes a normal movement, and I don't even necessarily want to say thanks to E on that. I, I genuinely believe he might be having some issues there. Yeah, maybe. Because it, wow, it four just PC freezes. Now for Say My Name. Okay. I, I like it. So he's it. gonna catch up here. He's he's just gotta hold him back until his eco catches up and maybe try and snowball. Mm -hmm. Dave, imagine yeah. if he would have stonewalled here. These knights wouldn't be bothering him the way they are. Yep. He has to run. He has to send his army back to deal with this because he doesn't have walls. That really could hurt, especially with a player like ACCM. He knows how to use mobility. 
ACCM, that's just a monk. You didn't know the crossbows that's, were there. Wow. That's a bad fight. His knights have not done anything for him in this series. No. <laughs> Is another one going to get converted here? Looks like it. It has to be, right? What? What? How is it? Monks are so stupid. <laughs> First was too fast. Now it's too slow. Yeah. Sounds All right. Good. And uh -oh. now that monk definitely. What? <laughs> Never mind. It wasn't. It wasn't important. <laughs> he's the power and he's of God. Right now the crossbows. <laughs> that's actually. That's actually good. I think say my name will not complain about that because he no. killed that many knights. He's got another monk right over there. He can just get the relic. The relic. So yeah. Another TC here from uh, ACCM forward this time on that gold. That's another position where it's like you want a TC there. Wait, I'm sorry. ACCM, you said right? Oh yeah, that yeah. gold. I think he wants to go. He wants to go for Mega Boom into Paladin for sure. I, yep. I think. I think he'll actually stop Knight production for for now. Like he's he might make like five, ten more, and then go for Cavalier and then fast Paladin. I think this is everything about this reminds me of Vivi. If this was Hidden Cup and we didn't know who the players were, I would think Vivi to pick who wins here and and go for this type of a play. And Yellow needs to recognize. Okay, Barracks at the front. Good. Needs to recognize that's the play from ACCM. He's already getting uh, his barracks prep for Halb. And Halb in a choke point with Britain Archers. Yep. Can do pretty good against uh, against Paladin. Uh, I love how ACCM is trying to break the gate on the right side. Has the Let hill. Me in. There's also a wolf <laughs> attacking that knight. He only needs yeah. 103 more hits, but he'll kill the knight. <laughs> he'll get him. So, um, you know what that reminds me of? Uh... Oh, wait, hold on a second. Oh, do not put that castle there, my friend. Oof. That's, that's a good shot considering the situation. But uh, ACCM, Actually, don't fight this. Don't fight this. Should he be fighting this, Dave? Uh, well, he's got He's got it. From behind. Yeah, he, he's got it. He surrounds. That's a great fight, actually. Wow. It wasn't sure at the start because when you see those Britain crossbows hitting and running, but they just froze up. They didn't run back. They didn't have any support either. That's so bad because it was Say My Name who had the numbers. Now it's ACCM and ACCM already has Cavalier on the way. Well, I think he took that fight knowing that he had three stables there to reinforce. That's, that's probably so a lot of it. So three more knights came in and yep. it's oh, basically man. game over for the crossbows there. And now the mass is gone. He does have pikemen, but yeah, there's no be a flood coming in. He doesn't really have the numbers that he needs or the upgrades on the pikes and... That was the one thing we talked about. Say my name's behind an eco. He needs numbers. He also can't fight mobility. So ACCM mm -hmm. is coming back, and he's going to hit the north. I mean, I just expect there to be blue running circles around Say My Name now. Yep, coming at him from both sides. Luckily for him, his base is pretty secure at the moment. Yeah, for the um, most part. And ACCM has been tossing away units all game, so maybe he'll toss these ones as well. That's but good point. at the front. The stable oh, production boy. is crazy from uh, from ACC. Oh, right and now. the castle position is perfect too. Because initially, I don't love that tread because it is a bit exposed. But most of the army, for say my name, just chased down these cavalier. And without help, without the upgrades on the pikes, he died. He died. Yeah. And, and now you have a castle to secure the trebs. This could be a very, very quick ending to the game here in Imp because there's two trebs now for ACCM. He just won't stop production. This is crazy. That's what you get with the early boom, right? Yep. Get your villager count up, get your sables down, and he's got six sables pumping Cavalier at the moment. Yeah, and I really thought that he would stop pumping units and go for fast Paladin, but he saw an opportunity. He knew that Say My Name was vulnerable after losing those crossbows, and he's pushing it home right now. This is great. I mean, there's gold there that needs to be secured. The barracks are also there, so the barracks could actually get trepped down next. This is He's very dangerous. He's still got the Cavalier at the top. And the Villager battering down the gate at the right. So if she gets through, she <laughs> makes stables in the back too. And, and the starting scout. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, don't ask me how they don't get caught on fire there. Just Age of Empires 2 things. Oh, man. I, I felt like there was opportunity for Say My Name. But this account... Uh, ACCM? Okay, again, a bit sloppy. But... This boom, this this uh, boom and cumin has done boom so much. Boom and cumin. 
Yeah, ACCM doesn't have the res for like anything. Still hasn't gotten the Arbalest upgrade. Like, still hasn't gotten Bracer. It's just gone full Halb here. Yeah, I, I still... I guess you meant say my name there. Uh, I think ACCM has to be careful with his Cavalier. It, what's interesting about Kumans is their skirmishers are pretty trash because they lack Bracer. But it's something. It's going for Battering Ram. Okay. Yellow. Why is he going for Ram? I guess the theory is that the Cavaliers have to engage <laughs> against the Rams, and you can have the Halberdiers there. Okay. And the Skirmishers won't be able to do any damage to them. Yeah, I mean, normally you see Rams against ranged units, not melee see, look, units. They're but... gonna force. They're gonna force the fight. So if the Rams go towards the Trebs, he's yeah. got to fight the Halberdiers. And, and Dave, there's a lot of Halbs coming out here, yeah. and and honestly, it's more about the Halbs versus Cavalier than it is the arbs at this point, <clears throat> because he doesn't, they're not even arbs yet. They're still crossbow, he hasn't gone for bracer. So if it's full help for Britons, and Cummins don't have the best counter to that because their skirmishers suck, maybe there is some potential to hold here. <clears throat> yeah, the, the problem is gonna be that Say My Name is stuck in this location. He yeah. can't take that gold there, and the villager got in, and now there's stables Ooh. at the other side. Yeah, I could see some massive raiding coming in soon. Well, I, I just think is as long as ACCM does that, Dave, and holds this position, it almost seems inevitable now. You look at the score lead, the score tells you an awful lot about the eco and the upgrades. Again, this is Cavalier Freeze, man. I, I don't even think that's a DE thing, or, or it's a combo of DE and ACCM situation. But the, the barracks are getting taken out slowly but surely. All the helps are dead now. Yep. I think ACCM... With the Kumin boom. Oh, we, we got some Kip checks now. That yeah, Kip checks will certainly help. I think it looks like ACCM will pull in game number two. Uh, what an interesting game. I did not expect Kumins at all. I mean, it worked to perfection. I think, yeah, I think Yellow played that incorrectly, but. Yeah, like going feudal archers just gives your opponent a 20 build lead. If you go fast castle one range or or just fast castle boom, that was the alternative with the cheap Britain TCs. Maybe you're not so far far behind in eco. But also, Dave, even with the feudal age play and being behind 20 villagers, he should never have lost his crossbows. Like no, he no, he took a bad fight there. Yeah. And to be fair to him, uh, we both thought it was an okay fight. <laughs> when <it first laughs> At the happened, start, yeah. You were like you were like, ACCM, don't do this. Cleared up all of the crossbows. Yeah. It's, for free, basically. It, it's like, I feel like the best way to read fights is to play the game for a consistent amount of time and then just get a feel for it. I don't mm -hmm. think that I have the feel yet for some engagements in DE. I don't know if players are the same way, but yeah, you think... is weird. Yeah. You think it's just a bit different, right? Like, you think that you can maybe micro more than you can in some situations. I'm not sure. But uh, food, wood, stone, and gold collected ACCM way ahead there. It is tied up, and we're moving on now to one of Say My Name's home maps. All right. Well, this is exactly what we expected from the series. We expected it to be close. I think I said ACCM 4-3, and you said Say My Name 4-3? Yep. So we expected seven games. Uh, the home maps that are there, guys, I, I probably should show this scene more. This shows all the maps in a little bit more detail if you haven't been watching the early stages of the qualifiers. But one of the home maps that interests me the most here is probably what we'll see next. Uh, whoops, that is not. Oops. All right. Well, you already saw it. Spoilers. It's El Dorado. You ready, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> the recorded game says which one it is. So let's do it. I went to the wrong scene. <laughs> and El Dorado. Um, so I guess I'll say this because this is still new to the El Dorado map. Uh, instead of having three Marlins with 350 food, we decided against that because it would cause some bugs. So we have two Marlins with 525 food, Dave. So the Marlins have a lot more food than they would normally have. You have deer, you have one boar, you have turkeys, and you have water on the outer edge. And then you only have two tiles of gold, two tiles of stone next to your base. The rest is going to be in the center, which is always visible. Oh, scoreboard, have you, have you my seen bad. How many times have you seen this game through the, or this map through the qualifiers? Two times? Has, did they pick Indians or is China like the... So 
there was an interesting set where it was Lix first backed. Lix globally banned Chinese, and then he saved Indians for this. Mm, um, okay. So we've seen if Chinese are available, I think Chinese is the clear pick. But we have seen some players globally ban it. Also, a lot of players are just flat out banning the map. So. Yeah, Chinese or Indians. Uh, Mayans beat Indians in the set I was referencing. So, yeah, I think Mesosivs are always strong. Vikings was chosen in the past. I would go Chinese for sure. I love how close ACCM is to uh, the water. It's like one of those pools near the ocean, you know? <laughs> they just like... It's like right there, but you're in a pool. Yeah, I, I know, you're man. scared of sharks Yeah, this is this is a good spot. This is a good spot to be in. A little vacay spot. I would love if he could, like, run his ships over that land. I know he can't. No, you can't. I mean, I hope he can't, because otherwise that's a big balance issue. Like, <laughs> That'd be hot. <laughs> <laughs> Put the fishing ships under the TC. <laughs> He'll be safe here. Don't worry. Or fire. I'm just imagining fire ships coming in and, and hitting the town center. Mm. But Woodman, is, is Malay the play here where you can fish trap your little pond around your TC? Okay, imagine a world where... Let's say one player's Aztecs and they get control of the middle. Yeah, and for then all the, the Eagles. player just takes harbors all around. And yeah. Aztec and, player can't win. And then fish traps and makes two handed swordsmen. Yeah, the Aztec player would lose. That would be a, a dream scenario, I guess. No, not in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> we Deep have nightmare, man. Yeah, we have very different definitions. Be of looking dreams. down the barrel of another like five hour game. <laughs> hmm. But that that is. We're not going to see that here, but one player is going to secure the middle on this map. And when that happens, it is extremely important that the other player expands food and wood eco. Uh, Hidden Cup 2, man. How good was that game? Is Robin Hood versus... Um, was it Attila? Was it... I know it was... I know it was... Wasn't that MBL? No, it was... It was it was, it was Viper versus Vivi. I remember, but I forget what Vivi's name was. We, uh, we thought was... it was Viper at the time, but we didn't think it was Vivi. Uh, anyways, what happened there was... Vivi took control of the middle with Incas and went full Eagles. I think Viper had like 170 villagers yeah, or something. Yeah, he was just like spamming around. Lycav. Yeah. yeah. Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. Thank you, Fat Dragon is God. He knows all about Vivi, so. Well, we'll see. Uh, both players are pretty far from the middle. And again, you can see when someone runs out there. Oh, that was a bit sloppy from Say My Name, though. Almost losing his scout to the town center. It's a big walls here from ACCM, mm -hmm. like real big walls, and early too. Yeah. All right. So say my name is docked a little bit further away from his town center. Um, you'll normally see what I what I'm expecting here is feudal age and then two docks, but it's not like you can treat this like islands where you can go extremely aggressive on water because these chokes are so easy to defend. So I, it was actually Dogal who made me think about this when I saw him play. He'll go two docks and add like four extra fishing ships, Dave, and then make navy because he knows mm -hmm. how easy it is to defend in the There's chokes. no point. There's yeah. no point. You can just go right in there, try and snipe their fish, and then they've got their production buildings yep. right where your army is. So by the time you get reinforcements, you're never going to win the fight. Yeah. Just go fish and defend. I see ACCM has is, is been taking the shore fish, so... Bit of extra food for him there. I guess being closer to the water helps in some ways. You are then further from the middle, though, so it's hard to say. Dude, ACCM, just because you're Chinese, you don't have to build the Great Wall. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't. Like, look at this thing, man. We're eight minutes in. This is this is one of those walls. Happy, happy. That's what this is. Dave, this is one of those walls where there just has to be a hole. You, like the player spends the whole game walling, oh, and yeah. then there's a hole. I just, I just there's have a feeling. <laughs> like, let's hope he clicks a villager out outside of this. Yeah. And even if he gets this whole thing up, see that one area by the shoreline? Like any navy can kill that palisade so quickly. Uh, that's true. Yeah, right there. And get people inside. Yeah. Well, completely different strategies with the same civilization then. And one player looks to be going for Fast Castle and then maybe Chukunu because ACCM's on stone. And then Say My Name is... Is he going for a second dock? Yes, Dave. So he's going for a dock. And I mentioned <clears throat> making fire galleys is a bit of a risk. But here I think it makes sense because you can punish your opponent for being so greedy. Mm -hmm. So it, it... 
I've been happy with the amount of mirror matchups that we've seen that have not played out in a mirror fashion, if that makes sense. Yep. Uh, and Chinese are probably one of the best mirror matchups for a map like this because they can do everything. They can they can choose to go land or water. Wow, Samane didn't see... Okay, he saw some walls for Mace CCM, but like he hasn't seen the big stretches of walls. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't know yet. He has to assume, though, if you saw the walls on the left side... And just the fact, assume. he's thinking about it now. ACCM yeah. still in Dark Age. Is he going to hit Feudal? Is he going to hit Feudal? Okay, at this point, with this many walls, you probably assume it's Fast Castle. Now, what do you do? Do you add two fires and then Fish Boom yourself? I really wonder what the play is here. ACCM is waiting with that scout, too. Waiting till he gets the Feudal oh, Age. He my knows God. the villager is there. He saw it before. That's so smart. Where's she going? He's gonna see her. I think she wants. I think this is definitely oh, for another see her. dock. He didn't see her. It seemed like he was looking for her, so maybe not. Yeah. yeah. Cause he saw the house. Maybe he'll come back now. Yeah, he won't go that far forward Whoa. though, cause he already looked over there. Dave, look what? inside the dock of ACCM in the south. Is this slam? <laughs> He's making a transport ship for that villager? What? That's intentional. You mean... Wait. So, you mean yellow? So, I meant... Oh, wrong person. Sorry. Yeah, say I'm, my name. I'm, I'm so confused. Oh, he found the villager right as she was building a dog. No! Yeah, sorry. I got the wrong person there. Slam did this, which I assumed was a misclick. Does he want to get in <laughs> the transport to save the villager? <laughs> no. <laughs> it just goes straight by. <laughs> but but so now he's lost the villager. Yeah. ACCM has seen the transport ship, and there's nothing to put in the transport ship. I don't. Ship. Is it the? Where is it going? Are you going to send your weak scout? Like this transport ship doesn't make any sense. What? I don't understand why that transport ship was made, Dave. And now the scout goes down. There's literally nothing to put inside that transport <laughs> it was ship. The worst play I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> you well, <laughs> listen. Uh, you probably missed it, but when Slam lost in round one, he made a he made a fish trap, early feudal, when there was plenty of deep fish, and he also made a transport ship. So uh, that's what it reminded me of there. That was just weird. I, I I imagine it was probably a misclick then, right? Because there's no reason for it, even if the villager did survive. He's going range scout. He's going double range scout. He's not going up. HCCM's already on the way to Castle Age. And he hasn't taken out any fishing ships. And he's got that transport ship, and ACCM knows about the transport ship. This is not... This is no bueno. <laughs> That's what this is. Yeah, sorry, we're, we're limited here. We don't know how to say not good in Vietnamese, so we just went with no bueno. But yeah, you go full feudal now, I, I guess. I mean... The transport ship's on the way back. I'm really fascinated how that's going to be used, because the scouts are... Dave... Don't tell me he's sending the transport all the way around to the right, and his scouts are going to wait there for it. Yep. <laughs> That's going to take forever! It's fine, it's in the middle right now, so it, it takes forever either way. It's going. Send it to the left, and then back to the right? What? Yep. Now, I like the part where it just zoomed right past the villager that was fighting the scout. Yep, and just <laughs> let, her, let her die. Oh, Dave, this is such a nice trap from ACCM. Watch this. Yeah, Watch this huge. choke. Demo. Ooh, good reaction, though. <clears throat> he was right on top of that. He knew that was coming. Still can't and push him, though. scouts are actually... His scout dies at the top. <laughs> 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 the transport ship is in the right corner. I have... I have so many can questions. Someone call, can someone call, like, Make-A-Wish Foundation and get one of these scouts in that base, please? Oh, man. And now with just an easy castle for ACCM in the center. Yep. This is... Say my name either was not prepared or he was surprised to see what ACCM had gone for. And now ACCM did the smart thing and he's prioritizing water. And and Castle Age Navy can destroy fishing ships quickly and push through chokes. He's still not up. He's still not up. Oh, like Dave, his this... fishing ships are not as efficient as ACCM's. He hasn't redocked at the back there. Another like... scout died to a random spearman. So And now his navy is up against upgraded fires. I think he can push this back, but... It's only a matter of time. How demoralizing and the, oh, oh, the is fire, this? The fire is going to find the transport ship, probably. There's one fire. 
Yeah. Going to the right. Well, I've had, as you know, Tristan, I've had many strategies fall apart on me <laughs> over my years. Um, Just and this a few. one should be pretty demoralizing for yellow. Well, it's super demoralizing too, because you could see him building the castle in the center mm -hmm. and you can't do anything about it. And the TC now too. I mean, All you can do is pressure his base. If the archers get in, this isn't going to be the easiest situation for Say My Name, actually. Think about this. His gold and his stone is there. Now, obviously, he has resources in the center to take now. He doesn't have stone for a counter tower either. So he's just going to have to abandon all of this. Oh, actually, you're right. Look at this. He's going to have to run. Yeah. And the Chukanu won't be in time. He's <laughs> hoping he can hit... Like yellow space or something at the same time? Pull the army back, maybe? Uh, ACCM! ACCM, hello? hello? Attack noise, ding, 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 ding! Wow. Two vills. Raid. Okay, so it will be three vills in the end. And the Chukanu died to archers! What? Where? What Chukanu? ACCM sent in the Chukanu to yellow what? space. What? He's sending them in! Yellow, my boy, let's go. And he still has the transport chip. Don't forget about that. That could actually matter if he... That's the fifth Chukanu that goes down. <clears throat> Dude, how did he lose... Where are all the dead Chukanu you're talking about? I see one on the hill. Yeah, the bodies don't last very long, but there was uh... five of them he sent in there. Well, now he has the middle. He has fishing ships. And his villain are on the run. He's going to have everyone in the, north. in the middle. In the north, the oh, fishing that's ships. that's huge. That's huge, though. He's not even up to Castle Age. He's doing so much damage. Yeah. What on earth is happening? This is, I have to say, not at all what you would have expected from this. Say my name's just going to camp his base, and ACCM is going to camp the middle. I like the way this <laughs> game is developing here. This is very interesting, interesting game we've got. Oh, man. Where does ACCM go in his base? Look, his villagers are playing, like, musical chairs. Yeah, good TC. musical trees now, I guess, the stragglers. I love how oh, Say My Name them. is. But the scouts are there. He sees it. Yeah. Well, once those trees are gone, that's a couple hundred wood. Those villagers will have nothing to do. Lame straggler trees? No. Or is that not? Okay. No, you can't. So that, that tree will be chopped, but he probably has bow saw, so it's like gone already. Oh my god. And and Dave, say my name. He did struggle because he lost fishing ships, but he invested into a crap ton of farms. So who needs water yep. now? You're on your way to Castle Age. There is some potential here. And say my name has stone. So he could build his own castle. I mean... Where does this game go from here? This is ridiculous. Yeah, just don't let those Chukanu in to do damage. Don't do it. And fix your idle situation. And also, do you remember there were five fishing ships in the north a moment ago for ACCM? Yep, they're I, all dead. Um, well, there's one. Yeah, there's one remaining. So I kind of assumed that he might save them, but no. Ooh, Archer raid coming into the middle. That's like the only wood line <laughs> that he's on right now. That's his wood. That's his wood eco right there. Yeah, and now a tower in defense. You're in Castle Age against someone in Feudal Age, and you have to build a tower, and, well, the TC can range those archers, so. But yeah, okay, a at least the Chukanu are here, but still you're looking at Chukanu without fletching, Dave. He is such a bad eco-balance. Double tower defense from Say My Name against the Chukanu coming in from ACCM. And I think he's going to relocate to the north side. It's a bit safer there. I'd also like to see him keep some archers inside ACCM space. Yeah, that's true. Instead of leaving, I think keeping the archers there would have made more sense. Yeah. Um, but okay, here's my question. Where do you castle if you're saying my name? You castle to... I think he sold some of his stone. He's exactly 650. Well, you can't uh, oh, castle no. on the right. There's too much stuff. There. He has to he has to defend from these Chukanu that are coming in. So that's why he doesn't have stone. He built towers. I think you cast. Oh my god! Oh Is he, my he buy god! Himself a castle. Oh whoa, dude! <laughs> Get go for it, man! Get it! Get it, bro! I don't think it can be stopped. It can be stopped with a tower. But yeah, ACCM. But okay, there's one he's tower. Have archers there. Just get the crossbow and get. Get Bodkin, like, right now. Yeah. I need it. No, a tower can't stop this many villages. Neither, Neither of them, they don't have the economy for their upgrades at this point, so... Well, he's got skirms, too. Interesting. I, I think the key here is there are more fishing ships for ACCM, so he actually has food income. But that castle's going up. So, I, I feel like now... A, say my name can take the gold, and ACCM can't. Yep. <laughs> He can't even take his wood line. Look, he's got to relocate that. Yep. Now, do you go 
once you're in this position, are you going 1TC and then imp as fast as possible to push him off the middle? If you say my name? Dave, I have no freaking clue. Because <laughs> where is the food going to come from? He does have the farms, but he's not taking from them. I, I think I think the water is just such a huge factor here. So maybe... Uh, I see Say My Name's thinking about it, but yeah, he doesn't have docks, so it's not worth it to rebuild docks. I think you try and go 1TC imp. Yeah, 1TC imp for Trebs. Just pressure with the crossbows for now. Being produced right now. Ooh, buddy. Better stay away from that choke point. It obviously looks like Say My Name is committing pretty deep in the Castle Age because he's going for another town center. Okay. I mean, Say My Name cannot lose his crossbows. He cannot lose them. So he he then can't micro this. He needs to leave and maybe is get his own try... push up. Don't tell me he's going to try like a Castle Age push against this castle. I see a Siege Workshop coming down. I think that's the worst possible play. He can't do it if there's Maganels out. Yeah, if you and have... And Chukanu too? Yeah, that's like... true. It's a good fight though. Crossbows against Chukanu, I'll take this yeah, any good, day. It's a good engagement and I guess ACCM figured it'd be better for him. Uh, these crossbows do have Bod Canero. <clears throat> What a weird game, man. I, I felt like it was over when Redock. I saw the transport. Redock from yellow. And micro right side. from yellow on the hill, but he bails. and Yeah, the, the docking's smart. I, it's either ram push sensor or you have to go on water and take those fishing ships out. Because if you take the fishing ships out, I guess now there is some farming eco for ACCM, but it's the food eco that he's lacking the most right now. Hmm. Um, Dave, so I, I just want to point out that there's no stone accessible for Say My Name whatsoever. ACCM does have that one tile. That's And maybe these other tiles he can reach without being hit by the castle. So I, I think, considering the villager lead, considering the military is even, ACCM is in the driver's seat right now. But this is not... It's not like this isn't winnable for Say My Name. It's totally winnable for him. Both very similar in terms of uh, the resource situation right now, too. I don't see either player really banking to go to Imp. Yeah. Well, okay, so Say My Name chose to run forward because he scouted that the hole was still there. So he's sending his if crossbows. Dude, <laughs> if you're going in here, go towards the TC first. Don't go to the left-hand side. Cut off that whole like, yeah. economy over there. But Dave, Make at, them come through you. At the same time, he has to give up, like, 10 of his own farms because of the pressure from ACCM. So who's going to be better off here? At least say my name saved his villagers. Oh, ACCM, you got to notice this, bud. Oh, man. And and like wow, you said, that's huge. if he gets, if he runs towards the town center, then the villagers on the left have to flee that direction. They really have nowhere to go. This is still a, very much an open game. This is ridiculous. You think ACCM would have learned the first time and shut that down over there? Like stone wall. wall, right? Yeah, he had wall that stone, up. right? He could have stonewalled it. Oh, oh no! Fishing ships. <laughs> Wait! Oh, their villagers are running right into the crossbows. Oh my goodness. Dave, the villagers are going down and fishing ships for ACCM will go down in the north. This could even yep. out the game. Yep. What? Wow, all the fish are going to go down? Uh, the villagers, look at the difference now. There's only a six villager difference. This is crazy. Uh oh, there's a Manganel near ACCM's two canoe, too. Okay, he's moving them away. Yellow has a Manganel to support. He's pushed them off all of those farms. That's so nuts. And I think crossbows, you're gonna prefer the crossbows over the two canoe here, correct? With the micro? Yep. Uh oh. What? Micro and range, right? Oh no! Dude, say my name is coming back in this game. ACCM yep. does not know how to deal with the pressure. This is unreal. And if he holds this hill, if he gets a good engagement here, there will be very little gold and stone that ACCM can take in the center. This is an amazing El Dorado game. I like how say my name dealt with the raid from ACCM. ACCM went all the way around his base with the Chukanu and the Maganel. Yep. He like preemptively pulled villagers away. He's got the towers here. You compare that to the way ACCM defended. Yeah. Wow. It's just, it's night and day, right? Good Maganel micro too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a low HP Maganel. This is crazy, guys. Uh, slightly Super more villagers pressure. for ACCM, but he does not have the defense he needs 
The same could be said, though. I mean, the ranges are slowly going down for Say My Name. And now we have a ram push from ACCM with no oh military support whatsoever. What is happening here, Dave? That ramp... There's no universe in which that works. Um, it's not. Well, the Vils can't attack because the castle fire. I think it could work. Watch the Manganol come out. The Manganol's gonna come out from Say My Name. He's gonna clear up the Chukanu in the back. He's got fishing ships coming out now. I actually, I don't think this works, man. it's gonna be super close, I think. He's gonna run out of stone. Say My Name hasn't been mining stone, so he can't repair. There's the Maganel. You're right, it's very risky and rarely does it work. But will the castle fire be enough? Okay, he just bought more stone. Man, he had 188 gold. If he didn't have enough gold to buy it there, I think the castle would have dropped. Say My Name could hold this. Now he's still just... microing everywhere else. This is ridiculous. It's just so expensive and oh. so risky to do that. Oh, he's out of stone! He's bro. out of stone! He doesn't have gold to buy! He doesn't have gold to buy! Just YOLO it! It's gonna be... There's a universe where this works! He just bought more! He just bought more! Will the castle stay up? It will stay up, Dave. He sold 500 wood to get the gold to then buy stone there. And that castle stands for Say My Name. But that was so damn close... Well, I'll tell you what, Say My Name, he lost a lot of villagers there. And he still, you know what? The castle for Say My Name is still shooting his castle. So he still will have to deal with that. He also, Say My Name lost his ranges in the process. And Say My Name can't really push that hill. So I think all things considered, that was very worth it for ACCM. Oh my god. I like how it's like, there's no world in which this works. There was a world that yeah. almost worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you're right though. Normally, Maganel's behind there. Uh, it, it doesn't work, and most players wouldn't go for it. But I think the castle fire helped. And how important has it been that ACCM chose Chukunu? Because he's kept these Chukunu garrison in his castle. Yep. And so he's got those extra arrows out. I think the most important thing is the fact that Say my name has no access to stone, like you said yeah. before. Mm -hmm. So it's just he's just been struggling so hard here. So expensive to buy it as well. Now ACCM can buy his way up pretty soon too. Wow. Good micro from Yellow. Oh my goodness. Oh, Yellow needs to oh, have it again oh, oh, oh. though. Uh, nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous as well, but he should have the hill here, right? So he could get some big shots. Oh, beautiful. Nice shot, dude. It's been on point. But his eco's not. Oh, wait, no! Wow, ACCM, can you get another shot? Okay, that was better for ACCM, I feel, considering the, the circumstances. I, it's a hero, I am genuinely mind-blown by this game. This game has been so good, but at oh, this point... Oh, on the right! So many! Whoa, where did they, where did they come I from? Know, they came from the castle, The castle, maybe. yeah. Maybe they were inside. Another ram coming forward to try and kill the castle from uh, Say My Name. He's got to deal with these Chukunu. I think ACCM has swung this yeah. back, right back into his favor. Yep. Now, again, problem area is his main base. So if Say My Name goes there, he's all right. But there are Chukunu here to defend. It's at least going to be reasonable defense. I love how ACCM is everywhere right now, Dave. He is, mm -hmm. he is four separate groups, three Chukunu here. He has 16 Chukunu here. And in the center, he has stone and he has gold. So uh, he even added another Ram, Dave. He added another ram. Is this it? Is this the world? <laughs> oh, it's falling well, apart for Say My Name. He's raiding at the back and both sides. He's coming forward at the front. Wow. He's denied the dock in the right. Yep. Yeah. It's over. So we must not have seen the chat there, but Say My Name calls the GG. ACCM holds on. The transport ship wasn't used. It was suspect at times from Say My Name, but he found a way to make this competitive. He just didn't have enough. My goodness, what a game. That was a sick game. There was a moment there where it swung back in his favor. Yep. I think, like, if Say My Name had noticed the Rams earlier, he could have denied a lot of that. I think so um, as well. Like, with some quick walls or something, you can really, really slow them down. Then all of a sudden you're not focusing so hard on your castle. And he like he nuked his economy to buy that stone. Yeah, I think he didn't have vision on the siege workshop. So he was he had all of his army on the left side. And so he knew the siege workshop was there, but he had only seen Maganels. So it was actually pretty clutch from ACCM to know that the siege workshop wasn't in his line of his opponent's line of sight and make Rams. 
because if you see a siege workshop with flags on it for a considerable amount of time, you assume rams. He just didn't see it. Uh, that and the fact he didn't have stone, uh, and say my name only had one Magnell. But that was that was awesome stuff. And now the score is two to one after we started the day with with say my name getting the first win. Uh, ACCM two wins to his name. Wow. Okay, I'm now looking at the achievements too. ACCM had way more stone and gold. So I think just getting the town center up early helped. And I also think his position in the middle was better even after both castles went up. What a game, though. That, that was ridiculous, Dave. Oh, man. There's a lot of swings in that. Yeah. All right. I like the whole transport ship thing. I would have liked to see it actually do something <laughs> rather than just die. Mm -hmm. It, maybe maybe there he's expecting stone walls, and so yeah. he thinks he needs the transport ship, but then he realizes it's just palisade walls. Even if you transport a villager in, they can't do anything in there. <laughs> uh -huh. like... All right. Well, um, guys, I recognize we have a lot of people here. Dave and I are just going to move on to the next game, but to all the people out there who have subbed and resubbed today, thank you. Also, I see some, some bits and some small donos. Uh, this has been an awesome show so far. The score is now 2-1. to one. And game four is a set map, Dave, and it's um, <clears throat> uh, slopes. So we've seen Indians globally banned in some sets. We've seen Mongols. Well, actually, n Mongols have never been globally banned. But the point is, Indians are available here, as are Mongols. I think Mongols are probably more flexible on other maps. So mm -hmm. you might want to save them. And it feels to me like this would be an Indian war. We'll hop in. Game number four. Two to one. Whoa. Wait. Our scoreboard's incorrect here. Is it not? Our scoreboard's incorrect. Man, I gotta speak to Overlay Guy and or Robo. We've had a, a few too many problems here, guys. Let me see if I can fix this. Um, the score is 2-1 ACCM, right, Dave? Yep. All right, cool. Well, we have that. It's fine. Everything's fine. 2-1... Is this the first time you've casted this map with me? Oh, no, we did it one other time, right? We did one with somebody. Tato Dell, I think. And it was... That's uh, it, yeah, yeah. It was Mongols at the time, I think. Yeah. And I also watched the entire um, FedEx versus Winchester art. Oh, on this man. Map. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Dave. That was a crazy game. This map, it's another one of those. I don't care that it's a mirror matchup because, my God, is it aggressive. Look at the golds for both of them. They're terrible. Both have awful golds. And also you have the aspect of the shorefish on the sides and the deer. This is going to be a crazy game. Now, in an Indian's mirror matchup here. Yeah. Would you just wall up your fish and then wall up your base and camp? You make scouts just to, like, know where your enemy is? <clears throat> yeah. What I've, what I've normally seen is scouts and when they go to fish it depends on the player because you still have two boar uh, you could bring that in and still have a solid feudal time but yeah i don't know i think it's going to be a scout opening and i've seen so much i've seen scouts into all-in scouts and archers i've seen scouts into full wall into camel and more frequently we're seeing scouts into crossbow and even cav archers here so we're seeing a lot of the things you would not see from indians on other maps just because of how open it is ACC, I'm going forward with a scout right away. Hmm. Does he want to scout the the res from say my name, see where his gold spots are? I hope he like, doesn't lose his scout. What's the purpose of this? You should be sending it to the sides, right? Well, you know, like, so the positions are fixed for the shorefish yeah. and and the deer. So I think we are actually going to make a change for the main event where that's randomized every game to promote scouting. I thought the side was randomized for. Is it not? No, no, it's not. So, okay. so the shorefish are always in the east and west. So I think there's ACCM is probably just assuming that he's going to go out there, uh, but I, I don't hate the fact that you're sending your scout forward early because the only other thing you would do here is push deer. But on this map, the deer are on the side, so he is at least getting an idea of where say my name is. The positions are fixed, so you should never ever lose your scout to the town center. You could always lame. You could steal sheep, Dave. He could have been trying to do that. Block a villager, attack a vill. But there he goes over to the shorefish. Both players going exactly the same time. Yep. Indian shorefish broken. But 
Did you happen to see the game between uh, Licks and Backed on this map? Uh, no. Okay, so uh, here we go. Ooh, the Kenny blocked the Ville. Kenny blocked the Ville. Not on this patch. <laughs> no, not not on this patch. He can do a 360, patch. though. <laughs> yeah, not, not on the patch that we were playing on. You can't block anything, man. Villagers just brush that right off. Oh! Oh my god, that Ville... Okay, Where? the one woman that yeah. was under the TC, the only woman, by the way, that was under the TC of saying my name. Gasp. Was one hit away. Yeah. And the board targeted her, so that was that was uh close. Good play from him. Okay. Bring her back in. So at the end of the day there, ACCM just lost HP on his scout and didn't really gain anything from it. So um you know what I think is hilarious, Dave? Where's Look that guy fishing? <laughs> That's exactly Where are they fishing? It. He's fishing. That's they're, They're all fishing there now, too. They want the donkey. They want. That's a donkey. They want meat. Almost got him. Maybe he'll come back around again. They can snag him this time. It's a donk fish. That's what that is. Yeah, looks like it. Well, <laughs> I was just going to say that. It's so funny. Uh, it's always this side, too. It must be the angle. Yeah, yeah, the angle as well. You see some villagers doing it over an ACCM side. Oh, Dave, this bug happens. You see that, Vil? He can't decide if he wants donkey or fish. ACCM? What is he doing? Okay, he's realized now. There you go. Yeah, I, I experienced that on this map. You just have to notice it and send the vill to a different shore fish and it's fine. Looks like scouts, Dave. Both on the yep. way up. No walls yet from ACCM, though. You know what is, is really he's weird? He's sending two villagers. Oh, okay. Whew. Who? What? I thought he was going forward. Ah, it's okay. just a barracks. <laughs> really forward barracks. I was like, oh my god, here we go. <laughs> it's ACCM and say my name, so you never know when yeah. that forward's going to come. Uh, but you know what's actually quite important on this map that wouldn't really be important on other maps? Is which two wood lines you choose. Mm -hmm. So you'll chop through your wood lines quickly. And if you look at ACCM, when he walls using the wood lines... He will not be using the wood lines that he is currently chopping, which is really nice. Whereas if you look at, say, my name, that left wood line there, uh, he's going to chop through that, and that could create some problems later. <clears throat> ACCM in Feudal Age. Yep, stable is coming down. I like the way he's placed them, and he's going to secure the golds at the front there. Is he going... Hmm. Where is he sending that one villager? Do you see her? That's, inten left? That's intentional, I think. That's a that's a tower near the fish, or is that production building up there? It has to be tower, right? Yeah. Is that worth the risk? I mean, if he gets it, uh, you know what? I could kind of see this working. It'll take a while though, and it, normally I think players will protect that side. So if say my name sends anything over there, it might be okay. But Spearman's protecting the wood line, Dave, and that tower, it's gotta be placed perfectly. Let's see. Ooh. Um, that's actually pretty I good. I think he can range the first two fish. I don't think he can range the... Oh, well, maybe he can. I, I, think, I think he ranges most, and keep in mind the fish in the front are being fished through anyways. So they won't be yeah. around much longer. All right. Well, here comes With scouts. Fletching, I think he can touch the the guys. All right. <laughs> Spearman, <laughs> Spearman, already here for say my name. So this is just like a holding tactic to get the walls down. Exactly. Then send his army out. Spears. Or towards the tower once he sees it. Spears, scouts. I'm really surprised that ACCM is not patrolling any spears in his gaps at home. Uh, you've seen say my name doing that, but then again. Oh. Scouts coming in towards the, the tower. Do the Vills have to run when that tower goes up? Because if they do, the scouts are waiting. I, yeah, see, it can't range them until he gets fletching. It can only range the one woman. Yeah. Well, I'm not... Can he target... Yeah, you're right. Okay. Well, you definitely won't go for fast fletching just for that tower. Oh, he picked a Vill, though. Yellow picked a Vill in the back of ACCM's base. Yep. Notice that. Very, very nice snipe, but losing HP to the Spearman. Oh, but the villagers are on the move, Dave. Oh, man. I don't uh -oh. know if he needed to run. This is so bad for you, say my name. He's also off the fish, too. So his food income behind this is going to be so much worse. This is so bad. What a play from ACCM. That tower I've never seen before. That was so sneaky. You saw the scouts. You saw the tower. 
Yeah. And you didn't send military there for when your villagers are running away. Like, <laughs> send some spearmen or something yep. to, to help them get back. Yeah, I don't so know why. So three villager kills for uh, ACCM and only one for Say My Name at the moment. When I'm looking at the vil count, though, it's 27 for ACCM and 26 for Say My Name. So... Either we missed another villager going down for ACCM, or he had some idle time, which is very possible when you're creating scouts, spearmen, and vills. And now he needs to be careful because he's still exposed on the right side of his base. Yeah, two of those scouts are really weak, though. Doink! So watch out for the spearmen. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Of course, the weak one was on the front, right? I, I love this tower so much because it's taken hundreds of food away from say my name also it denies that gold for later on beautiful tower i like the fact he combined it with the scouts right yeah it really works when you combine it with the scouts not so much just by itself if he were to go in there oh he almost picked a villager too say my name yeah yeah it's not ideal to have to build these little quick walls on 10 trees you really want to get the full walls up uh, accm's he's built a range in an area he wants to hide from say my name so it's good that the scouts are now running out of here. I just wonder what the castle times are going to look like now. Like how big of a difference is the lack of shorefish for red going to be? Could be massive. Why is the villager count... Did he get wheelbarrow? Yes, he okay, did. He got did wheelbarrow. Get wheelbarrow. Okay, yeah. okay. But before... When I mentioned that ACCM had a one vill lead, he did not have wheel. So... Well, I know I saw him get housed a couple times. That could have so. been it, yeah. Yeah, getting pop blocks. He's been struggling, and this villager is actually coming back. And is say my name gonna see her? I would, I would leave her there as the designated house builder. Just build houses, but lame that gold around there. Yeah, yeah, just just wall it up. I'm surprised. I mean, it's not. He's in a fine position right now. He has some. Is she gonna make it home? That's my question. What if she opens? What if he opens a hole in the wall for the vill, and then the rest of the villagers die? Uh oh! She's not making it home. She's dead. <laughs> Just passing. Hello. Hello? <laughs> in say my, in say my name's eyes, there was no reason to patrol, so he didn't do it, and she's home now. Okay. What? Dave. So disappointed. ACCM on the way up. He's yep. making and archers. Say my name is making archers too. So, mm -hmm. we've got uh, both of them going into crossbow, and then do you add cab archers? Potentially, yes. Potentially. I think you definitely do in Say My Name's position, because you've already towered your gold. You can't go for a second TC, because you don't have the stone. Also, I think you might have to Say My Name's position, because he still hasn't clicked up. There's, there's two things that happened here that hurt his eco. He lost the vills, he lost the shorefish... And then he also added the ranges super early, which is wood he could have put into farms. ACCM only got that second range up a moment ago, so I guess better economic approach for ACCM. And I think Say My Name really needs a good engagement or two, or needs to distract. Maybe this right here will buy him some time, so he can get up to the next stage as well. Yeah, even though once it gets in... He's not going to be able to do too much. There's already archers there for ACCM. Yep. He's walling behind. He'll be in Castle Age faster. I just keep thinking back to that tower and the villager loss for, for Say My Name. The sneaky tower took hundreds of food away from Say My Name who needed it to go up. And oh boy, I could see this being an awful situation this is for all him. Dead. <laughs> all dead. <laughs> could Look be. At the army's coming back from the left. There's more army coming from the front. Yep. He's going to get all his upgrades in. He just now got fletching, which is interesting. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, this is no bueno. It's not not looking great, is it? Uh, crossbow's on the way for ACCM. Um, did he? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm dumb. I was thinking, why did he go to stone? He didn't tower at home, but he towered forward, obviously. <laughs> so he, he might want a town center soon, and he definitely wants to trap this army. This is, this is not good, man. You need this army. You need this army, Yellow. Otherwise, ACCM will be in such a fine position. Decent micro from both so far. He might be He's able to get some out of here. just trying to escape with it. Yeah. <laughs> Use the scouts. Block. Just run. Yep. And ACCM nice, is nice. just trying to, to force Say My Name's hand. 
You or, know what? This is really good from Say My Name to get the, those archers out of there. Mm -hmm. I didn't think there was a world. But apparently there's many worlds. There's there's <laughs> many worlds today, here. yeah. <laughs> now the tower's there, which is super awkward. But yeah, dive in with the scouts and give your archers some time to, to flee. You know what? In a second here, he's going to have his upgrades. Equal villager count. Yeah, and he does have some stone, so he could go for a second TC. This is actually, this is doable, as long as this, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> oh, spaghetti -o. No. spaghetti -o! Dodge. Micro. Okay, whatever. You lost one vill, but you're still alive in this game. 53 population for both. And now ACCM actually needs to be careful that he doesn't uh, keep his army in the back here. Because there will be more units for Say My Name. Yep, Say My Name could even just go up out from the front and try and trap these guys yep. as soon as he gets uh, all his upgrades Ooh. in. Look at these scouts on the right side, Dave. They could find a vill pick. I oh, like that. no way. That is amazing. There's a weak villain there, too. So he could get two villagers here. Maybe even more. That's one vill. That's good. And that's, that's excellent awareness. So he knows how to play the map because that's the other important aspect of this map. Not he only sees pushing the, weak the center. Bill. <laughs> he sees it. Look. Namaste. Doink. <laughs> yeah, got him. <laughs> got him and also is taking a fight on the other side. Uh, you know what? I was not expecting this. Didn't you feel like AC or sorry, uh, say my name was just dead with that castle age time difference? It kind of did feel that way. Yeah. Man. He hasn't dropped any extra TCs yet though. Not yet. Okay, there's one. Where's that going to be? Forward. Forward. Interesting. Well, the golds are really important here. And there's also crossbows near there, so... Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, he's got to bring his army to support. This very much feels like all ACCM is trying to do with the crossbows on the left is keep his opponent at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's done that, and now he's sending his group forward, but uh, I guess Say My Name is just forgetting oh, about it. he sees the TC. He sees the TC! Two crossbows, and wow, the micro with the TC villagers, <laughs> yep. too, to keep them alive. This is so high level. Beautiful. But the crossbows at the back are being annoying again, and say my name, forced he, to drop a watchtower. I think the tower, Yikes. it's definitely the... I think that's the better play, because if he sent all his crossbows back to deal with this, then the TC would have been denied, so... It's not too bad. I like the Siege Workshop edition for ACCM, though, because all we're seeing from players right now is crossbows, and crossbows could easily go down to Siege. Hmm. All right, so we're on two town centers at ACCM's base. He has expanded to the wood line on the outer edge. However, his golds are more exposed, and he's going for a town center now in the middle. Like, this is This is like... Maginot Dodgeball. <laughs> Dave, that's what this is going to be. Uh, you and I used to play that all the time. Ooh, crossbows from yellow going into the back wood line from ACCM. Oh, man. Oh, my God, dude. They're both losing vills. They both just lost some villagers there. I think it was more losses for Say My Name, but it's still very close. He just needs wood, and he needs a siege workshop. Wait. I love how ACCM <laughs> is camping out all the wood lines too, just to know where he goes. The amount of base trades that we have had in this series has been unreal. Yep. Look look at this now. ACCM has to leave his base and go to the safe base on the right. Incredible so much pressure. idle time too. Yeah. It's crazy. I love this map. This, in my opinion, is one of the best maps we have for HC3. It's also almost impossible how... to know like, player styles too. Yeah. Do you see how, like, ACCM has a camel on the right side, a crossbow over there, another crossbow on the left, a spearman, a yeah. scout? Like, he's just waiting. Oh! He's also waiting for the Mangonel shot! And misses. Man, we had to look at three different spots there. <laughs> <laughs> there. I mean, that tower on the left is actually going to be extremely useful. It denies Say My Name from expanding. Uh, and then, yeah, the camel in the north you mentioned, so I, I would like to see him patrol that, but... At Siege Workshop, in my opinion, a bit late for Say My Name. And the lack of wood now is becoming pretty apparent. 
but his micro could be Gotta decent. Be super careful here. Super careful, bud. Oh, man. If he if, Imagine if he takes that mango out, though. What a beautiful split. He could still remain... A, uh, you could still have some type of presence here. Dave, it's 93 pop versus 86. This is a sick game. I'm loving this. The eco is not as far behind as we thought it would be. I know. Yeah, and it's 36 military versus 26, so... Uh, say my name could could easily do this. This could go either way. Uh oh, on the left though, crossbows from ACCM have come back, and now yellow runs away. Not bad. There's crossbows from yellow in the middle too. <laughs> Gonna pick off the reinforcements, but there is a mangonel there. Also mangonel from yellow. Oh, yellow. He sees yeah. it, dude. The micro has been amazing for both players. What about ACCM? Does he see this? That's sick. Attack rounds? Oh, oh so sick. man, this is ridiculous. Now, he is taking a fight on the left, but that's a reasonable fight to take. And I think the middle will be more important. So keep looking out for... Actually, what's the stone count like? Oh, my God. Say My Name has 550 stone. He could drop a castle soon every if he maintains he control. Has, every game so far, he's had a castle foundation forward on his enemy, and he's had to delete it and bring it back a little bit. That's true. Yeah. Every game... So we'll see if he actually gets one down here. I'd, I'd love to see him, like, do you go for the side or do you go for the middle? I think this situation? with this, it, it's not the same on every slope generation. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> it's, it, it's not the same on every slope map gen, but I think on this particular one, you have to drop a castle in the middle because of the golds. Mm. There's so many golds there. Oh, this could be bad. This this could be great for ACCM. Oh, I don't know how he didn't kill the two side there. The shot, the uh, no looker. <laughs> Sarah calls it. Dude, 94 population versus 90. Where is that castle gonna go? In his face. In the face, and he's got he's got Maganels to oh, back no. it up. But a great shot from ACCM. Oh no. Oh no. It's can, all falling apart. Can ACCM see that? He can see it. He has Maganel okay, on the left. Two Maganels, though. Two Maganels from yellow. Ah! Oh, man. Wait, big shot. You... What? How is that on one HP? The dodging? I I don't think ACCM stops this. I mean, the micro is incredible for, with the Maganels. The Maganel micro, yeah. The, the Maganel micro could make the difference. Attack oh, round. Oh my god, dude! The tower's there's up! The villagers, there's not enough bills! More villagers are on the way now! It's 90%, but there's another Maganel! Oh my god! That's gotta go up, right? He's gonna get it up, but it might have cost him way too much. Was it worth it, though? You're down 10 bills now, but now you kill a few as he retreats, and you have a castle in the middle. When ACCM is not really that close to clicking up, it might just be worth it. But but Dave, we talked about it before. I'll talk about it again. The expansion for ACCM. How important will that be? And, and oh my god! Dave, look at his scouting. He doesn't see the four tile gold. Oh what? man. How? He doesn't see How? the four tile gold. The one, the, the one on the right. What? It's always on the shorefish side. It's oh always on the shorefish side. He denied the four tile gold from his opponent. Will he have the presence of mind to know to look for that? Because if not, uh, this this could be really bad for him. Is he taking gold elsewhere? Okay, he's still taking that one gold and still has the four tile close, but that you know, that town center is going down. ACCM's eco looks good, but you have to remember that two of his five town centers are under pressure right now. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, in regards to the gold, he actually does have a two tile on the left, and he also has his own stone. So, it's not actually as bad as I thought it would be. Excuse me, initially. Uh-oh. But Say My Name is on his way to Imp. How Such did he pull this off? Him. Yeah. Such great play. I thought he was dead when his archers were, like, trapped yep. near ACCM's base in Feudal Age. Yep. But he's pulled it back for sure. There's a hole there on the wood line? That's a hole? I think he broke out of there earlier, right? Something that like that. That tree looks like it's covering... <laughs> it looks like it fell that direction. Yeah. <laughs> You're trying to run in and the tree falls and blocks you. That'd be too realistic. Well, you can't fight against these skirmishers. Yeah, probably yeah, not, the but the hole's still there, so just peace out of here. And now that he sees skirms, say my name, adding some stables. 
And oh my god, Dave! What is up? I, I just looked! <laughs> We're blind! We're actually blind! Uh, hello? Uh, castle v castle, and neither will be a doubt castle. Wow. I'm, I'm, I, I, sometimes I feel like I might be the worst caster, in, like, ever. Ever? Because that, how do we miss that? <laughs> I mean, to be fair to us, Dave, and our reputations, there's five different areas to look at on this map at all times. But my god, I mean, what happens now, though? That just gets trebbed down, right? Yeah, but he, he for the moment, he did secure the stones there, he secured the golds there. And he's on his like, way to Imp as well. Gold, right? Yeah. So, I see that Say My Name wants to go for Light Calf to counter the Skirm, which is normally great, but I don't know if he has the food eco for it. It's only 28 farms. He's also town centering the left now, so he can take that gold after that town center goes up and he shoots the tower down. So he's sending a ram over to the castle on the uh, left side. You can ram that one down, I think, because you have your castle so close. Yeah, that's true. And he's actually making petards in that, too. Oh, really? Yep. Well, there's two castles and he has to deal with. That's the problem. Killing a ton of villagers with skirmishers, too. ACCM? On the north side, here come the light cav. He does have the vill lead. Does he see that gold? He does see the gold now, Dave. So if he knows that gold is there, he might actually be okay. He'll definitely have stone to build another castle for the time being. This is this is all over the place. This is ridiculous. ACCM it seems like he's behind, but he has more population. Again, I the light cap has no castles, upgrades. Both those castles will go down, <laughs> I think. But another castle for say my name? That could be denied by skirmishers though. You don't have okay, now he has armor on the light cav. What like why so risky with that one? He must think like he knows he's not behind. He sees the score. Yeah. Alright. Well It's gonna work. Again. And both castles are gonna go down, probably. Yeah. I mean you really have to protect your trebs here from the rams. If you're not paying attention, these rams could act oh no. Those rams won't kill those trebs, will they? It takes a while for a battering ram to kill a treb. That one's really weak. Okay, he'll have a hill. Yeah, he'll okay, all right, he'll be fine. And that castle did complete for say my name, and now it's 121 pop for say my name, 136 for ACCM. This, the series between Bact and Licks was nuts, guys. But this series is this looking. This series has been good. Oh <laughs> yeah. man, this is amazing. Just. It's so funny because it's like ACCM is the more solid player. He's obviously thought about the strategy more, but say my name is like, as soon as he's down, he gets back up again. Yeah. He refuses to die. Yeah. I'm just thinking about all the aspects of this map, expanding to the sides and taking the center. And and say my name has done both of those things, well, at least better at this point. That castle on the right will serve to pressure ACCM later, and the castles and trebs in the center well, say goodbye to your castle, ACCM. He's castleless now. I think you raid now. If you're in Say My Name's position, you probably switch out of ranged units entirely. Go for Camel, go for uh, Hussar, and then probably just raid the sides like crazy. It's got to be yep. the way to go. And don't trickle trap. If we learned anything from FedEx versus Winchester, <laughs> <laughs> if you're Indians, do not trickle trap. Yeah. It's, Man, it's... ACCM doesn't really have anything in his base right now. Mm -mm. It's all over on the right. Yeah. Yeah, I think Say My Name is very aware of that. But ACCM will castle the right, and then he has an opportunity to make some trebs. He does have gold, so maybe he could push that back, Dave. There's potential. It's like they both have the same pop. They're just... They have so little military, and they, they don't know where it should be right now. <laughs> They're looking Cavalry. for positions. The Cavarture switch. Really? From ACCM. Well, I see a couple of them. Okay. okay. He's not making more. I think he might Good. have... Yeah, might have cancelled that. Yeah, I was wondering about that. And now say my name on the gold, too, from ACCM. That's huge. He's picking off villagers in a lot of different places. ACCM wants to town center that. Yeah. It's funny. As he's losing some of the, the right middle and the right, he's actually shifting over to the left a bit. And I wouldn't surprise me to see a town center over there either. But we have heavy camel against heavy camel. The upgrades seem to be stronger for Say My Name at the moment. And I think he has the all-important trebuchets. So, uh, ACCM, I can see what he was trying to do with trebs on the right.
but he'll be on one, and there's three there for Say My Name, and there's nothing ACCM can do about it. ACCM looking for an opening. He can hit Say My Name's base. It is there. You can go right into that farm eco. Yeah, but what's what's more important? You get those villagers, but then you lose everything in the center? And on the right. And on the right Castle's side. Down. That's wow. really big that the castle's going down. I'd almost like to see him bring his camels over to that side. Yeah. I mean, this is the start of something good. If he can continue this raid, what this does is this draws Say My Name back to deal with it. But, but look at the raid on ACCM's base, too. Oh, man. Ooh. Yeah, and I I just love the pike edition, too. A few pikes mixed in. Say My Name will have the, the eco to send units back to deal with that and continue his raid. Dave, this is looking much, much better for Say My Name, and it could tie up the series if he continues like this. This is awesome. Such strong play since yeah. he hit Castle Age. Like, really, really strong play. Camels from ACCM trying to find something, but there's camels chasing yeah. from Say My Name, and he's got that big group in his base. Oh, an elephant, going down. an elephant archer! An elephant archer on the right side! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, man, that's great. Yeah, I just see a whole lot of red and so little blue, man. And so many idols for ACCM. He has 30 idols at the moment. That Treb's not going to die, though. Yeah, apparently not. Not until a camel arrives. Rip yeah, that elephant. Yeah, all the momentum. All the momentum is in yellow's favor right now. Yep. Wow. I mean, the population is still very camel? close. Uh, it's like 1,400 food and 800 gold or something. It's basically the cost so of paladin. So it's a little... It's a little bit, then. Yeah. It's much better to just make more camels here. Someone someone in the Twitch chat will know the exact number. I just know it. You just make a lot of eco and click it <laughs> when the time is right. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, man. The traps are going to hit that TC now. The camels are there. Skirmishers do nothing versus Indian camels. That's so much farm economy. If you lose this area, you lose 30 farms. That He has 35 on food. So, and another castle from Say My Name in the middle of the map. Beautiful. Beautiful play. And and with that castle's up, that town center will not be secured at all. There's already this a trip there. This this is unreal. Yeah, th this is absolutely unreal. The way Say My Name is playing, this is perfect. Addressing the left, pushing the center, pushing the right. Both of these players... This is what's kind of sad about this. Both of these players are worthy of making it into the main event of Hidden Cup 3. They're both so freakishly good, only one will move on today. All the villagers popping out of that TC from ACCM. They're actually going to get away from now. Credit to him. Yeah. He's kept that villager count up. It's been at like 130 for the last 20 minutes as Say My Name rips through his eco. Yep. You know um, but he just can't get the army to fight this bad. You know what I think it is? It's so easy to reboom with Indians because their vills are dirt cheap. Mm -hmm. So he's probably adding more vills constantly, but they're not, they don't have time to collect resources. Like yeah, he's, he's at the limit sending, with everything. He's sending vills out to come kill these trebs because he has no other answer. Yep. Yep. And they're going to have to go back. And that town center he just rebuilt middle. will go down. And Dave, the upgrades are insane. Uh, soon full upgrades on these heavy camels. For say my name, it's not the case for ACCM. Look at the production queue too. Yeah, full production, good control, knows exactly where he needs to be at all times. Yeah, there go the villagers again. I guess if they're cheap, go for it. Sacrifice a few lives, but it probably won't work. The town center's down anyway. We're going to a game five, and this will be tied, Dave. ACCM doesn't want to give it up yet because his pop looks good, but this is this is insane. I'm going to say it. I don't think there's a world <laughs> where yellow <laughs> yellow loses from this position. <laughs> I, I think, it might happen now that I've said that. Yeah, I mean, the population's still really confusing to me because it feels like Say My Name has 50 more pop. Yeah. Uh, but it's he's just producing vills faster than he can kill him. Exactly. Moment, so. Exactly. Yep. And look at look at the north like there's not enough room in that TC, I'm sorry. Yeah. You can't fit all of those vills in there. Yeah, not to mention the lack of gold. Uh one relic, well, will be say my names when he brings that in. Uh, I don't think there's any relics for ACCM at all. Actually just now getting a conscription, so that explains some of the problems he's had with numbers. 
L look at the Vils in the middle. They're that desperate for gold. <laughs> yeah, obviously, he's not paying attention to that. Bill count just went down by 30. Yep. 40 now. Yep. I think when you're at ar around 100 population, you know. You continue to play because you're looking at your pop while you're doing everything else. But you see 100 pop, that's normally the sign that there's no way I win. Combine that with the score. I was so impressed with saying my name in this game. This is, this is an amazing comeback because he was behind. It did mm -hmm. not look good for him at all. Well, he lost three villagers coming back from the fish. Yeah. And he didn't have access to the fish at all. So it looked like a great play from ACCM. Um, but some a little bit of sloppiness on ACCM's part too. He was housed a few times. Let uh, yellow catch up on the villager count, and then wow. in Castle Age, he let those archers escape, which was huge. Two straight games in a row where we have seen a mirror matchup. Chinese expected on Eldorado. If Indians are available, most pros are picking Indians. But the games were out of this world, man. Mm -hmm. Players all over the place. I love this map because... Say My Name had the potential to be in five areas at once, and sometimes he was. Like, even now, you have the camels patrolling in the south to stop expansion. You have the main group of camels. You have the, the trebs and the pikes. And then you have this group and this group with the trebs, and he was about to go halb hussar. It's unreal. Uh, and now the score is 2-2. Two to two. This is exactly what we would have hoped for. <clears throat> and you look at, like, the... ACCM was leading on Vils basically all the way up until the end. Yep. And the economy for Say My Name is still so much better. So it's just efficiency. At exactly. The the day. Yeah, applying pressure. I think the Maganel Micro in the in the um, middle was good. And also, remember when that castle went up and Say My Name lost a, a mm -hmm. dozen villagers building it? Well, at least all of his villagers then were safe. Whatever he had left was safe and untouched. And that was not the case for ACCM at all. Wow, I'm looking at this now and just so impressed. Uh, incredible game from both. And we'll move on to game number five, which will be on ACCM's home map. One of them. Um, and he has... Cup, and he has Islands. Interesting. Um, Dave, can you do a quick 40-second Q&A with chat while I step away for a bit? Oh, I have to look at your chat? Okay. What's up, chat? <laughs> UQ and all A. Who is yellow? Why is no one reading chat? Yellow is say my name, dude. Why? Okay. I get so frustrated. As frustrated as you are as a viewer saying like, oh, who's yellow? I don't know. It's so frustrating to me to see people crying about not using the name that's on the screen. Because learn. You're a human being. You can learn. It takes you five seconds to learn that say my name's name is yellow. Don't complain after that. Okay, the rant's over. What's up, guys? Uh, I can't read. This is too fast. Dave, don't be sassy. I have to be, man. I hate that emote, by the way. <laughs> what is this? Why does it say Dave? And then there's like, it's not even a mom. Does Dave have a gamer tag? No, I don't game. I don't play this game. I just speak. Why are all the moms in the chat, man? I don't. Why is that an emote? That's my question. <laughs> because every hidden cup, you say bring is the moms. She like, is she dreaming of me? Yeah, yeah. It's her thought bubble. She's thinking oh, of you. Okay. That's that's all of chat's moms thinking of you. Okay. Anyways, I'm back and I'm ready to go. Um, yeah. I'm sure you're ready to escape the Q and A. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I went on a rant, so it wasn't it wasn't a good Q and A. Oh, really? Okay. Well, uh, let's hop into game number five. We have so many new Twitch primes on the left monitor for me. This is ridiculous. Thank you to all of you, uh, but the show must continue. We have to find out who moves on to play in the main event of Hidden Cup Three. And again, this is the first series where we've had continuous mirror matches. And again, we're talking about a map of options, Dave. This is Cup, and this is what ACCM went for. And it's a Japanese war. Mm -hmm. And this cup is, is it just me or is this cup like really small in comparison to normal generation? I, think, oh, I guess it's, yeah, I guess it's probably the same. It I just, I don't know. It just That's looks weird. different at the start. Yeah. Um, there's really no way to sum up this map. And especially with Japanese who are so incredibly flexible, 
I, I don't really know what to expect, but what I will remind people of is if you dock the right, you cannot sail over to the left, and that's the same if you dock the left and try and get to the right. Uh, also, fishing ships, very important. Japanese both have armored fishing ships, so it would be difficult for both of them to kill those fishing ships. And we could see man-at-arms. I've seen that. I've seen archers. I've seen a whole lot of things on this map, Dave. Who was it? Was it ACCM that went forward with towers, man-at-arms on this? Were you thinking... Okay. Was that saying my name? So you definitely were watching in the chat when it was yeah. Lix. Lix did the weird drush thing. Oh, yeah, that was Lix. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, however, I think ACCM in round one, and I've casted so many games, I forget. I think he went for man-at-arms and water, uh, which it was a surprise to me, but he ended up killing a bunch of villagers in the process. We'll see. Um, this map hasn't changed at all since Hidden Cup 2. And ACCM did play in Hidden Cup 2, so he should be somewhat familiar with it. Though, I don't know if he played it. I know when Leary co-casted, he said he had he'd never seen like two of the maps. <laughs> Which shows me he didn't prepare too much for HC2, but... What's the uh, score right now? Is it 2-2? Two, 2-2, two? Two, two, man. Ha 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 ha, let's go. And we both said 4-3, <laughs> so yep. I said 4-3 ACCM. But you know what? I just kind of have a feeling that Say My Name could take this. I, that that was my impression because yeah. I've watched so many games of them and I feel like Say My Name has a higher win percentage versus ACCM. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It could just be... Usually when I'm watching them, it's like 3 a.m. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not, maybe I'm not paying attention Dude, as well as but I it's, should. How crazy is it though that we have two players... So I think there were three Vietnamese players in the qualifier... And two of them match up against Four each other Vietnamese in round two. Players. Four? We had... Yeah, because backed Huang... Oh, Huang. Name, I forgot ACCM. about poor Huang, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so anyways, the, the fact that we had these two who are so familiar with each other playing uh, against one another to get in is... I'm sure they're going to feel bad and good at the same time when they win, right? Um, we could have had... Theoretically, we could have had five. We could have had Cool, too, if he had played more. Yeah, Cool could have made it. He signed up. He didn't. He didn't get in. Uh, same with, there were some late Chinese signups, they just didn't get the rating. Lots of good Vietnamese players out there, and these are two of the very best, and they both docked the left side. Now, they both scouted it as well at the same exact time. <gasps> Say my name! What? What? No! What? He lost him. Oh, you're a second ahead of me! <laughs> oh, no. I was like, wait, what? I didn't see anything. What happens? Oh... Uh, Boy, well, that's not that's not the slop you can accept. You're playing at this level, two to two. You can't be losing villagers in Dark Age. Come on, man. No, that hurts. That's not good. All right. Well, I think since they've both gone for the water play, this is going to be so weird because normally you don't. Uh oh, ACCM even trying to steal the sheep. Look at this. Don't let him get away. Still worth the idle time. Yeah. Uh, but what I wanted to say here is Japanese fishing ships are so tough to kill. And say my name running into the TC too. What is going on here? I can't even talk about the upcoming strategies because of the amount of fails that are happening for him. It's just, he's making mom spaghetti right now. And it's, it's, it's terrible. It's yeah. Just, yeah, okay. Well, we'll see if he can pull it back. Remember last game? That's true. He's behind a little bit. Yeah. Pulled it back. See if he can do it again. So, so, what's really bad and what frustrates me about players losing their scout on this map is that the TC positions are fixed. It's always in the same it's place. It's always <laughs> in the same place. So that either tells me this guy had the biggest, biggest brain fart of all time, or he's not used to the map. There's 11 maps. ACCM picked this as his home map, so he knows. But maybe Say My Name just doesn't really know. But, you know, saying that... Uh, we see players doing a very similar thing here. Both are on the way to Feudal Age, and we have what will be Man-at-Arms, but the difference is ACCM can scout it, say my name, he has to live with the fact that ACCM knows this is coming, and he is completely blind to what his opponent's up to. And look at the villager count, too. Like, just losing that vill hurts you so bad here. Yeah, it's a vill and... And a fishing ship. And a fishing ship, and also the fact he's up a little bit earlier. So mm -hmm. he'll, he'll end up being two behind right now. Also, I really hate his lumber. 
To have that many villagers on one lumber camp when especially as Japanese, so cheap. <laughs> yeah. it's fifty wood. Just drop another one. Yep. So both players going for men at arms here. Okay. Well, consider that say my name will be faster, but he also doesn't have a scout, and now he can't his, take the fight. He yeah, and now this the third one is kind of stranded out here. <laughs> he what he can do though is delay, so he can run these around forever. Yep. There you go. This gives him a little little bit of time to breathe, doesn't it? Yep. It's not bad. But I think he... And he canceled... Nope, he still has the upgrade coming in. I think okay. he should fight before the upgrade comes in. For ACCM. This is this is actually quite good. good. bit of damage? Yeah, yeah, this is quite good. Just the time is huge. I Does hear he have anything coming age. out from his dock? Okay, one fire galley, but fire galley for ACCM as well. Mm-hmm. So ACCM is going to go for the dock, and say my name is going to go for the archer range first. Oh, Weakville? This could eat. Oh, never mind. Scout goes down, though. That's very nice. Yeah. I, I just fight the man at arms here. Actually, you could attack the deer. I think taking the deer with one of them would be, wouldn't be a bad play. Uh, two docks for ACCM on the left, Dave. How important is that repair? That was immediate reaction from ACCM. Well played. We'll see a lot of that. And I think he's gonna. He, Say my name's actually gonna win the fight. What? <laughs> the man at arms. Now he can take the deer. Yeah. There's that weak villager on the gold he remembers. And these are Japanese men at arms. Yeah, they're uh, no joke, dude. All right. Well, did some damage. Not too bad. Uh, this is this is very similar to the previous game where ACCM had the better start, but Say My Name ended up bringing it back with a few small moments. And Dave. The archers are already on the way, and ACCM can't scout the fact that archers are coming. So, while ACCM seems way stronger right now with the extra fishing ships and the water play on the left, maybe the archers can do some damage for Say My Name. By the way, what chat, you're all, you at, you're all, uh, I'm at 13.8. Uh, so the archers aren't on the way then? They are you mean now. They're they're, okay. They are now, <laughs> yeah. Like no, I, I meant. Was like, wait a second! Yeah. How far behind am I? Sorry, it's been a while since we've uh, since we've cast together. But when I said on the way, I meant like on the way in production. <laughs> no, no, I get it now. Yeah, <laughs> I get it now. But two, very two archers. Two is not enough, man. Without fletching, I know there's some weak villas back there. Yeah, and he knows that too, but he won't even be able to get in. And he's he hasn't lost his fishing ships, but he's not fishing efficiently. ACCM seems to be playing very clean on his home map right now. And even a tower on the left. He knows the archers could be a threat, so I don't even think that tower was necessary. But I can at least tell what he's thinking. I think he could have used oh, his wall. Yeah, it was a good fight with the men-at-arms there, but... Snowballed uh, so quickly. It is, yeah. But the you, fish are going to help him so much. But you commit to just one dock on a map with fish... You're giving your opponent a chance to get a big lead. Archer's going into the TC. Yeah. yeah. All right. So what we need to pay attention to now is how many villagers each player has on food. Because there's a few things you can do. You can go heavy farms right now, and you could still have the same uptime as ACCM. There's potential there. But it's not going to be easy to do that. And you almost need to foresee that you're going to lose water and add farm super early, which he has not done. Um, this is actually... What is he sorry, go doing ahead. with this villager at the bottom here? He's building the blacksmith, but where is it going to go? Okay, it's coming back. Okay. That's weird. Yeah, the ranges are also... Far. Just not ranges you would expect from a pro player. Because they're they're placed awkwardly. Yeah, isn't that... I didn't even notice that. What the heck? It's it, so weird. It's like he wants to wall out his town center I don't know but um he does have fletching on the way and he sniped a unit Dave this is what I think say my name needs to do now I don't think he has the food eco I think he needs to dive in for the fish like demo the fish and then fire down the rest possibly but against Japanese not so easy but he's on the wood line ACCM doesn't know where to expect this pressure I finally got fletching for the archers, okay. Yep. It's good damage. I'm really surprised he's working off one lumber camp, though. Like, I would have built three lumber camps for efficiency already with Japanese. It's so cheap. Small counterattack from ACCM. Maybe this would do something. Maybe a dock on the right for Say My Name could do it. 
But this villager, again, this isn't walled at all. Which is just not tournament play. Why you're not walling is beyond me. And, oh, the Two archers. Two skirmishers on the way out, though. Yeah, it's true. But that was an unnecessary loss, wasn't it? And, and now yeah. you have to chase this. Very unnecessary. Yep, he's back on the wood line from ACCM, though. Yep. Close to sniping a vill. Da, 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 da. Someone said no berries for ACCM. Is there no berries for ACCM again? Or, sorry, not again? That was an issue we had in the other qualifier game? Yep, no berries. Did he not make a mill? What? There's no berries. So, I'll tell you what the conversations have been behind the scenes. We've already fixed that issue. There was an issue with Daniel's game. And except in that case, Daniel was behind elsewhere. ACCM seems to be fine. So we fixed the issue with the map. It was like 1 in, in 150 chance or something. And the players can report it and just replay it. But I'm, I imagine Robo didn't hear anything about it. <laughs> because I wasn't told. Well, he just milled the deer anyway, right? But He milled the deer, is... yes, Rez. He just needs a market and he's up. He's good. <clears throat> berries are very nice to have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that'll be addressed for, for the main event. I hate to see that, but it's happened now and no one was told about it. And, I mean, ACCM, dude, just don't take bad fights. Get a market out and uh, address this water on the right side. He now sees that Say My Name has docked the right. That is a way to come back. I didn't mention earlier. Oh no, the skirmisher is going to die to the wolf. <laughs> no way! No way! Is it actually? It will! Do you want the honors, Dave? <laughs> yeah. uh, nope. nope. <laughs> that was three years ago. The woo 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 is, is since sailed. Woo woo woo, get wrecked. There you go. <laughs> did, you, did chat know? Do you think chat knows that you're the one who started that? I'm... In Listen, if there's anything that you ever enjoy, any sort of tagline, YouTube title, meme on this channel, 95% of the time it originated from me. What? 95%? Stolen content. 95%? Listen, when you co-cast, you sign the contract. I can use all of your ideas. Stolen. Yeah, what about the what about the time that Okay, I was me joking. You were give me 10% of all the money that you've earned? What? I never said that. Yep. This I apparently we touched on. I apparently we touched a on a very serious topic here. I was just, <laughs> <laughs> I was just making a joke. OG fans are gonna remember. Looks like it. looks it was, like I have like to. Two years ago. I, I haven't I haven't shipped out the chair yet, so I guess I'm mm. just gonna have to hold on to that. Yep. You would. No chair for Dave. Well, how good was it for ACCM that he was able to get a lead, man? Without the berries, like my God. Yep, and how good for Say My Name to actually be denying that dock yeah. and get that that fishing food in is actually, like, the villager count pretty close. even yeah. right now. Pretty close. And that's, that means more villagers for Say My Name because ACCM has more fish, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think the, the great thing about Say My Name's position is that he has fish and he has way more military. The mm -hmm. bad thing... Is that the left side is way more important than the center. I think a wolf killed another archer from blue on the left side. Woo -woo. I see a wolf body, <laughs> and I saw an archer body. <laughs> see, we would never... Uh, Dave, like, the bird meme, anything that involves animals, Dave definitely started, and there are many other things, of course, <laughs> but, like, I can't tell you how many times. I still remember Masters of Arena 3. You're just like, the deer! <laughs> there's siege monitors <laughs> on the map, and there's a deer bugging out, and Dave's freaking out about the deer. Oh, uh, yellow's got to be careful with these demos. Ooh. Oh, God. Okay. And so does ACCM. Yeah, that was really close. Uh Oh, so how good is a tower for ACCM? I didn't like it originally, but it ends up being a pretty it good was tower. Just way too early, I think. Yeah. Like when he saw that Say My Name only had two archers without fletching and he was dropping a tower. Like it just seemed it seemed weird when he put it, but it's yeah. good now. Yeah, close game right now, Dave, uh, and Panic TC, it almost looks like, for Say My Name. He knew that the military for ACCM came to the right. He also has Elite Skirm. Yeah, I, he's actually in a not bad position right now. Yeah. Because, like, ACCM's fish, he never redocked the other side, so they've been running all oh, the way that's true. Yeah. to the side of the water, so they're not as effective as you would normally think fish are. And... and 
Sorry. Say my name still has his. Yeah. Still has his fish. There's a lot of fish left there. And it took a long time for Say My or sorry, ACCM to dock there. So Don't go in here. Don't sit under that tower. Don't do anything in here, yellow. Close game again after a solid start for ACCM. 53 villagers for him. He has the lead. He's behind in military, but there, there's demos out here, Dave. Oh, God. He's, there be sharks here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I guess you could just sit on the island and snipe yeah, you whatever. You can intercept these fish, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's doing a great job right now. Yeah. It's risky to be he's out here, but he just assumes a demo won't be on the way, and he assumes correctly. He's got more eco than ACCM at the moment. Like but, in terms of TCEs and villagers working, it's just the fishing ships. At yeah, this point. the the sensor and one fishing ship, two, all three fishing ships will go down. Oh, the demo just nuked one. Crossbow. One crossbow, yeah, just caught the tail end of that. So There's another oh, demo at the south, though. Okay, he sees it and he backs away. Nice job. ACCM, he got the upgrades for his navy, and that is not something that Say My Name went for. I think that's a big difference. So difficult to push ACCM if you don't have some water control, demo. and demo. here comes the demo! Delete it. Boom! Oh, Huge oh, shit. shot! Oh, that was the risk right there. That was the risk. If you don't control the center, you lose your fish, and, and you lose your units. Side. ACCM there with a bunch of crossbows. There are crossbows from Say My Name yeah. behind, so he could trap it, but he's probably going to lose. Oh, no, good recognition. That was sick. Wow, right away. You know what? He probably reacted so quickly because he didn't have the other army to pay attention to anymore. <laughs> he lost it. That's probably so. it. Yeah. He doesn't even have Town Watch. Like, he couldn't see that from very far away, mm -hmm. so very, very nice from him. Going around from the top side, which I think is the correct play. I think... I but now think... ACCM looping around for the bottom. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that ACCM never wanted to go in there. There are situations where you attack, you know your opponent's army's waiting for you, and you're just waiting for them to bring it home instead of pushing out. And in the meantime, you'll you'll expand elsewhere. So um, ACCM, who this is going to be a tough fight for him to take, but he's doing a great job. Well, he's got two Maganels coming from the north, and Ooh. he's got, uh, Say My Name has the War Galley upgrade actually coming in, so he's going to have the upgraded navy. Okay, yep. Unfortunately for him, he can't get a dock on that northern pond. Exactly. Looks like he might want to. Yeah, what do you do if you don't have either of the ponds controlled? Maybe you use the, the uh, what do we call this, the center or the smaller ponds? Win oh, there and then push? Name. Yellow, yellow. Yellow, he's getting ballistic. Oh no! He can't afford to lose this. Oh army. no! Yellow, yellow, what are you doing? Uh, it was like he he faked ACCM out by not microing there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no! Oh, the shot was huge in the end. Oh geez, yep, it's it's looking rough for say my name now and David. Seventy-seven villagers for sixty-five. Mm -hmm. the, the eco expansion has been unreal. Who needs berries, right? Who needs it? So he lost. He just got ballistics. Actually, good job deking him out with that army. Yeah. And bring it over to uh, the north side of ACCM's base. He just got ballistics, and his army basically got wiped. I can. So now he's gonna have to rebuild that momentum. I, I can tell, guys. Listen, chat. I don't know. I just gotta address this real quick because people are freaking out. The say my name meme is hilarious. You're all, we're all dying of laughter here. However, yellow is also his name. Just in case you don't know, all right. So, we call him yellow as well. I, I think there's maybe two percent that don't know. <laughs> um, but anyways, what was I gonna say? Oh, I can tell what you're a fan of say my name because he just got horse color, Dave. Yep. That's it. Yep. So that eco is even worse. It's not even just the numbers. It's it's the efficiency of it. ACC, oh. I'm making an outpost on the north so he can see where the archers come in. The crossbows, sorry. Yeah, great game Coming sense. faster. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That mango, though. Nice shot. But now ACCM has waltzed in here with his own... This is so funny. ACCM waltzes in with crossbows and his own Maganel, and he just goes right past the siege workshop. And this, is, this ends up being amazing. Look how many villagers are idled because of this. <laughs> oh, oh. No, and at the north, too. Yep, just spotted it. F's in the chat. 
for saying my name and now he'll just leave it's like oh thank you very much you have a nice town thank you for the tour i might stop back next time i'm in town uh-oh 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 uh -oh. spaghetti no way. say my name no way shoot <laughs> okay one for one <laughs> that was so weird uh, well, okay, villagers now walking across- Oh my god, that castle! Is ACCM actually going for that castle? It looks like he is, Dave. Can he get that up? That? Why there? Is there a world in which he gets this up, as you would say? No, there's not. <laughs> no, he's gonna cancel it. Yeah, okay, good. But even that is risky. Even that's so risky. I mean, he has the water control. Yep. So he knows nothing's coming out from uh, Yellow, but Yellow's got military there. All around, too. There's a Maganel, there's crossbows. Oh, no, ACCM. You're on your way to Imp. Honestly, it'd be better if he just castled on the amphibious terrain in the center. Delete that and just... I, I don't... I don't know if he realizes you can. Yeah, it's possible. Sometimes you just forget these things, right? Oh, uh, say my name's Mango does not fire. The castle has not been deleted, so it's still... Maybe... Maybe ACCM just waits for his upgrades, actually. It gets yeah. Bracer and Chemistry and then finishes it. But... Say my name is nowhere near Imperial either. No. Nope, not at all. And uh, this is bad. I mean, if the Maganels don't fire, if they don't get big hits, that castle's going up. I still feel like ACCM is a bit too confident here. Just back up for a second. There's still so many villagers there. Oh, two mangonels. You need big shots here, yellow. Yeah, good micro from both. He needs... He needs... Uh, it's worked so far. There you go. That's, oh my god. <laughs> that's actually... A sniper. That's actually what really good. <laughs> that was sick. Still, that castle's there. That foundation is there. It's not making any sense to me yet. All right, well, Bracer, Arbalest, Chemistry, all on the way for ACCM. Still nowhere near Imperial for same name. It was lack of horse collar and the lack of fish, I believe. And the amount of villagers too. ACCM still has more and he's in the Imperial Age. I think that's why he, he figures he's eventually gonna take this out. And oh, big shot, but good micro. Good Dude. micro, oh my God, that was insane though. Th this is the how- sidestep <laughs> with the skirms. This is how you stay alive in a game, that's for sure. He might the be way behind. HP Maganel. The Maganel, the Maganel. Do you remember that? <laughs> uh, someone has that clip out there in chat. Is that the one ice cream made of my voice? Yeah, yeah, the Maganel. Don't lose the Maganel. The Maganel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, I mean, at this point, even can't stop the castle, even yeah, though. you can't stop the castle, right? The Maganel is not going to be enough against Arbalest. And so the castle will go up. Not to mention ACCM. He's macroed so well. He has the stone to build another one. And I say you build it in the center. Even with one villager, you'd be fine there. Say my name. We'll build his own castle on this right side. Try to anyways. I think that will happen. And he is on his way to the Imperial Age. Lands a decent shot there. Is this possible for Say My Name, Dave? What's his win condition here? I think early Treb War, possibly? Yeah, I mean, he's given himself... He's gained like five minutes yeah. with that castle deny. And now, I just... I don't see how wow. you pull this off. Even another castle, man. Even another castle. The only bad thing for ACCM is he does not see that Say My Name is building his. But he should... The more he pushes in here, the more... The closer he gets to the castle, and then he'll just he's make He's already got a treb out. He's making yep. archer ranges on the other side of Say My Name Space. Yeah. So he's going to be squeezed from both sides, and he's going to have later trebs. Yeah. Not a second castle. Yeah, I love the ranges on the left. Beautiful. Pressuring the wood line. Even with just a few skirmishers, you can delay an entire wood line. And I have to say, we said it from the start. Uh, say My Name didn't seem to know the map. And ACCM definitely did. He played it well. He boomed behind, even without berries, which is hundreds of food. And he's looking good going towards the end of game five here. Incredible. I even love how he's he's running around, because he knows he can. I'm going to raid you on this woodline too. He's going to fully surround the guy. The same my name is in big trouble right now. This is awesome. What a series, Dave. I mean... 
It sets itself up perfectly for game seven, because then Say My Name might have a home map he's really comfortable on if he loses this, wins that, and we go to Ravines for game seven. Is it always Ravines for it, game seven? Uh, not for the main event, but for the qualifier, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we set it uh, game four slopes, and I mean, originally we weren't expecting these players to be picking the new maps at all in the best of fives in round one. <laughs> so we wanted to force them to play the new maps, but we've seen so many of the new maps and players are picking them. So here, the castle's going to go down, the skirms are in on the left. That's too many so traps. Look at the villagers in the middle, like just wandering around aimlessly. Yeah, this is... Yikes. This is resigned territory for Say My Name. He does tap out. The score is 3-2. to two. ACCM is one win away from making it into the main event of Hidden Cup 3. Uh, he was in Hidden Cup 2. I'm sure he wants to be back. Let's see if Say My Name can find a response. Just sloppy there at the beginning. Very. Yellow. Yeah. Like, he lost the villager and then immediately loses the scout. The fact that he was actually in that game is impressive, considering what happened at the beginning. Yeah. Um, you could also say, though, ACCM... Yes, he got ahead early, but uh, the berry bug, it's no a berries. big issue, yeah. And uh, I don't like the fact that I had to address this in front of 8,000 people. We we have it sorted for the main event, but I'll tell you what, uh, the fact that he won without that is, is even more impressive for me. 91% uh, of that map was explored, much faster castle times, much faster Imperial Age, uh, more of every resource collected. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that ACCM, he knew that he could perform on that map. And so that means we have one home map remaining. Oh, no, I lied. Sorry. There's actually two home maps remaining. Say My Name can choose either of them. And the map that he will go for is Bay, Dave. You ready? Let's go. All right. So we did not have a lot of mirror matchups in, in most of the sets. Then we had two players matched up against each other who play together all the time, who probably think about the game the, the game in a similar fashion. And now we have Mongols here. Now, I'm super surprised we didn't see a Persians pick. Mongols is good because of the hunt, but Bax chose Mongols on this map, uh, and he lost to Persians against Lix in that crazy best of seven the other day. So it's a Mongol mirror matchup on Bay, Dave, and uh, apparently we call it pants now. I'm pumped. It, I, You know what? Someone tried to give me credit for coming up with that pants name. I don't know if I did, <laughs> but at least someone's trying to give me credit for something I came up with. Jeez, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, like the amount of power Dave has with those comments. Like, all of chat's like, oh, it hurts. And I can't come back. There's nothing. I just have to just have to eat it and cast the game. Yeah, I'm, su I'm surprised with the no Persians, too, because it's like everything Mongols can do on this map, Persians can, can do. pretty much do it yeah. as well. Um, and they have a better late game, obviously on water, way stronger, but was... maybe it just doesn't fit the style of these two players. Yeah, it was Aztecs and Mayans that was globally banned. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it might not suit the style. Um, Persians was never picked in Hidden Cup 2, but it will be picked in Hidden Cup 3, let me tell you. The Civ is insane now. But, okay, mirror matchup. You have a map where there's hunt and a map where there's water. Uh, it's another map where you have options. I think the incorrect play is to go all in for one strategy. So the incorrect play would be to go all in for water and not take hunt. I think it's an incorrect play to go only hunt and not water. I think the way to play this, Dave, is to do a bit of both. Mm -hmm. And a ACCM already pushing a deer. That's a long deer push if he's going to get a couple of them in. Ah, nice. That's actually pretty good thinking. Um, it's it's a bit closer for him. Just a little bit. Actually, no, it's not, really. It's just that that wood line for Say My Name means it'd be a more difficult journey for him. Hmm. I'm really curious who these guys trained with. A lot of the players... I know Fire, who will be in the next set against Barls. I know Fire trained with a lot of people, which is probably the best way to do it. But... For the Vietnamese players, they're probably training amongst other Vietnamese pros. You have Bact, you have Say My Name, you have ACCM. I don't think Huang trained with anybody. <laughs> um, so I just, I have to ask them. ACCM told me that he and he and Bact were talking strategies. So I just don't know if 
if saying my name was part of the conversation or what. But it looks pretty similar, man. They're both docking at the exact same time. And I also... Dude, they're both patrolling to protect their villagers, too. That That's ridiculous. In the same spot. Yeah, and they're yeah. moving... This is, this is now amazing. Now they're both moving out. Yep. Wow. We got a mirror match, literally. Yeah. And then who will get the first hit? <laughs> they both passed. <laughs> Once again, say my name, just running right past. At least ACCM noticed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... This will probably probably be much better for ACCM because Say My Name needs to double back. Oh! Okay. Uh, there's a villager coming from yeah. ACCM. Will he get there it'll in, be time? in time? Yeah, it'll be in time. And now Say My Name is going to have to run and, and take, take an, an extra, extra hit. hit. Yep. And now he probably regrets taking this fight so close to the enemy. It's questionable whether or not he can make it back to his base without receiving three more hits so he he definitely has to get out of there is he trying to get up okay there was a little bit idle time he's garrisoning villagers but he is up first and speaking of up i think he wants to run up this hill on the other side and get a downhill hit wow th what a great segue it's almost like you do this full time yeah man <laughs> you, you make it easy <laughs> dave so you you make it easy okay you're honestly you the best co-caster <laughs> Yeah, uh, Dave invented co-casting, by the way. No you know one else doing right No now? one else co-casted before Dave. He's he's tired of getting insulted, so he's just going to compliment you're just me so... in, in an effort to... No, seriously. I mean, I don't want to say it often because it's awkward, but you're just the best, man. You're just the best. Is, is it awkward enough for you? <laughs> there, there we go. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> when can I leave? <laughs> uh, ACCM building a second dock. And same with Say My Name. And they both have weak scouts now, so there's no risk that they'll lose their vills. Uh, and this is going to be... They're going to start off with Fire Galleys. Again, this is the correct play. However, there has to be a point where you send vills over to the deer. When that happens, how much you commit to it, the timing on it is so important. Dude, they both have two on stragglers. I guess three now. It's just... Insane how close this is. And it, it comes down to the wire now. If, if Say My Name doesn't win here... On his home map, uh, he's not participating in the main event. Okay, I want to see both players have enough to instantly produce two fire galleys. Say my name is going to be a bit faster, but by the time he gets to uh, ACCM's docks, it'll even out. Um, did I don't think say my name has the food for double bit axe. Does it come down to that one deer that was pushed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's enough food for double bit axe. I mean. That's an important eco upgrade. He should have gotten it right away. He didn't have the enough. food. Yeah, he didn't have the food. And now you see ACCM. Again, I think this is just perfect play with Mongols on bay. Take the deer now. But obviously, if you lose water, it, it could make life difficult for you still. Um, I expect a lot of microing and a lot of repairing. Both players keeping a villager right by the water to repair it too. Ooh, but... Can't this, afford to lose even one fire galley. Was this miscalculated or calculated? I think it will be calculated. Calculated! Okay, and now ACCM needs to get out of here. Wow, this is... I said this when Leary and I were co-casting uh, this map. It's stupid, but it's impressive at the same time. The repair meta. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so Dave, notice how Say My Name has not gone out to deer yet. He's going to have some serious food issues. Yep. A demo could Good change micro, things. micro, though. Yeah. Epic micro, in fact. Ooh. Two demos on the way. These demos have to land. If you're saying my name, you're not on deer. Can you land with the demos? Can you get a big hit? Not really. At least kill it. Oh, no. It's on one HP. Oh, no. But... He's going to get two here. I think we're definitely Probably. seeing the difference of... ACCM investing 100 wood into the mill, though. Because he fell behind the numbers slightly, but say my name, his demo didn't land. Uh, the fishing ships are going to be micro. This is this is like, impossible for a caster. <laughs> it's just like, one person micro's back, the demo? other person micro's back. Demo? Nothing yet. I wouldn't even use it. Save that. Oh, ACCM actually sniping a fire ship. Look how many weak ones are here! Look how many weak ones are here! Demo the Ville too! The Villager! Oh, what a play, man! And, and you know what? 
that could make this very even now because if he's able to clear out the fishing ships and he hasn't taken the deer yet, it's not that big of a deal. He's actually going to bury his, with all of his villagers right now. I don't think he has any intention of going out there for the deer right now. That bothers me. And the demo is... Boom! There's two more fire ships! Wow, great water play here from Say My Name. I think you were right about the mill. Yeah. Investing in that just put him too far back and great unit control here. Yep, so you got ahead in food eco in one way, but you're behind in the other way oh, because you don't have fish. there's the mill. There we go. Okay, now he goes out. All right. And, and ACCM is scouting that. He's going to see that, but does he notice it? Okay, he does. Yep. Is he, does he have a scout in the tax dance? Looks like it. Oh, it's no. It's only 2 HP. Okay. Auto scouting. <laughs> got a safety. Time to auto scout. So when do you start adding fish here if you're saying my name? Because you ah, don't know. You actually can't. Yeah. Because if you do, ACCM will just demo and come right back on. So you, you don't add fish. Not yet, anyways. You, you pretty much can add fish once you've cleared out. Once it's two docks to one, I think. It's kind of silly how there's one flag there, and it could mean there's 15 units in there. <laughs> or whatever the max is. I don't even know. PCCM is going to be up to Castle Age way quicker. Yeah, and if you... Maybe it was well calculated, right? He gets the hunt, he loses fish, but then he comes back on water if his docks stay up. Because he's, be, he's still fighting on water. Save that fishing ship, it's 1 HP! Um... ACCM is attacking the wrong one. <laughs> it's 1 HP! Maybe they'll both get to 1 HP. You never know. Oh, look at the repairs from ACCM. Sneaky. Didn't really work out for that ship. Will it work out for that one? No, it won't. Say my name. Starting to add farms now, which gives him a stronger mid-game. Well, the resources are starting to even out a little bit here. Yeah, I, I mean, 400 food for ACCM uh -oh, is impressive. Be careful. Okay, one for one. Nice. I think it's impressive to have 400 food, but after your hunt, where's your food come from? You won't have yeah. fish. You're not investing into farms. It seems like Say My Name's mid-game will be stronger, but he might be later to Castle Age. I think ACCM is going straight Magadai, too, which is... Probably. Good for your transitions, but slow. <laughs> Very slow. It's, it's rough. Rough for the economy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, and they just they just produce so slow. Yeah. Like, it takes so long, and they're and they're like weak in the castle age, right? Before you get all their upgrades. So. Yeah, and you won't have the food for Bodkin. I, I get going early, but I like say my name's position a bit more now, Dave. Even if he's later, and now he's starting to add yep. fish. I think this is probably the proper time. Yep. Really, really good play from him. I love that he's walling up now too, just in case yep. ACCM was going for something tricky. Yep. Like secure your advantage. Also love ACCM deking all the demo ships with that one fire. Is he? Is that the, the low back. one? No, it's a new one. So, yeah, him at, if he attacks there, I think Say My Name will be able to keep his fish alive. There's a weak one in there. That's probably what ACCM was hoping for. Take out the dock. Take out this left dock, Say My Name. Make sure you do that. Yep. And then patrol around the uh, coastline. Yep. And then you can add, like... I'd probably add five fish mm -hmm. to this, probably. What's that eco looking like now? Uh, with the market, when that market's up, say my name will buy his way up, but he will be about 60% behind, I'd say. So it it really is interesting now what the uptimes are going to be like and how ACCM transitions that economy. He did get a horse collar. He's added some farms. He still actually... He does not have deer, but on the new version of Bay, there's more deer around, and he has scouted some. Um, where's that vill going? What? <laughs> the dude? Yeah, yeah I, don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> you want to find a quiet place back there. All right, man. Well, interesting game. I, I can't say that ACCM is necessarily ahead or behind. There's good and bad things about both players' positions. I feel like giving up or not giving up, but losing water is never great. And Agreed. ACCM's actually coming out and trying to redock. Ah, it's a good, it's a nice play, but uh, uh, say my name realizes that that's a risk and he's scouting it. Now the Vils can't really be hit. This is awkward. When you build Palisades, sometimes they'll prioritize the Palisade or the dock. It's kind of dumb. But one dock production. 
Like, what do you what do you even make? Yeah, you're gonna have to research War Galley in that, and then make whatever um, whatever yeah units. Yeah. The castle's good though. The castle's good here, and that castle uh, means that he could make Mangadai. It does seem like ACCM has economy to maybe go for a second TC. Well, same my name is also going to go for a castle here. Exactly. It's just when he places it, where he places it. Keep in mind that this is not a full wall for Say My Name. This demo is blocking the two tile gap. So you can't easily full wall on this base unless you do it like um, ACCM did and wall to the edge of the map. Demolition rafts being what? queued from ACCM. I mean, he doesn't want to give it up. I can appreciate that, but it might be better to just put all of your resources into lands now. Mm. Yeah, I think that I think the later mill was was probably worth it. A CCM had the right approach, but went too early and nice safe stone walls. I like that from say my name. Uh, where would you place the castle, Dave? I'd put it near the shoreline, probably. All right, well, he's placing <clears throat> it there between the stones. Okay. I should have asked yeah, you that I ten mean, seconds earlier. <laughs> like. Just when you're in this position, you got to figure that you're up. Yeah. So why why go out and place a risky castle, right? Yep. I think in an ideal world, it's probably the castle goes to the right of that gold. Somewhere around there. So, so Dave, I talked, I've just been using mid game all day today. Like how, how good is your mid game going to be? I'm looking at ACCM now and say my name. Say my name has two farms relying on fish. That will only last so long, so he's got to get some farms out. And ACCM's farm number's not looking too hot. And he has some Angadai. So, 45 vils for ACCM, 47 for Say My Name, but that includes the fish. This is pretty close. ACCM can't hit anything. Yeah. In Say My Name's base, like, literally nothing. I could maybe... He could maybe... Run into a run demo? Run into a demo, yeah. Oh, did he just click path? Oh! <laughs> Okay. Wow. <laughs> I didn't think it would actually happen. Okay. <laughs> Dave Stradamus, man. Yeah. I like how he scouted a lot out here. You can see those relics. Uh, he's also working on getting those relics. That could be important. Ooh, you can't lose Magadai numbers like that, though. Oof, that hurts. Running and trying to range villagers. He does know about the castle now, though. Yeah. He had to suspect it. But three TCs now for yellow and... How many for ACCM? Third one going up just now. Yeah, it's a good timing on the third TC. Um, you can't just add the town centers if you don't have the farms to keep Vils producing out of them, so I like that. I also like how ACCM is not trying to rush Bodkin Arrow. It's 200 mm. food and 100 gold. He does not have the food to produce Vils and also get Bodkin Arrow. And you don't gain anything from Bodkin Arrow just now. So I think this is good play all around from both players. ACCM getting the relics too. Yeah, so I'm guessing it depends on the Mangadai run out there, but maybe two relics ACCM could snag before the Mangadai become an issue. It's got to be full Mangadai. This is just going to be Mangadai, Mangadai, Mangadai in the Imperial Age. It's just uh, how many resources will the players have? How many upgrades will they have? This is so unbelievably close. This almost feels like a Game 7 right here. It's so yep. even. It feels like one. I'd love to see... Uh, say my name, make some monks, go for the relics. I, I think ACCM has the better idea here. Yeah. Thinking a little bit more about late game. Also, I love how he's getting this relic way to the north. That's the more difficult one to get, so he wants to get that soon. And the other ones, he figures, will be easy for him. Also protecting this one, too. ACCM. I think looking Yellow good. saw that disappear, I, I believe. So now he's heading up there with the Mangadai? Nope, he didn't scout at that after losing oh, the scout. Okay. So it just happened to be... He thinks it's time to move out now. Okay. 8 versus 9. So very close. Could go either way, depending on micro. Now you can consider getting Vodkin? Uh, will ACCM click it? It looks like the resources are being saved. Yep, uh, say my name's getting it. And probably ACCM won't move out until he has it himself. But man, I love the relics. This will be four relics for ACCM. The fifth one right in front difference. of, of yeah. the same name's base. Yep. Hmm. Okay, another castle. 
I he like that take this fight. Not without, not without Bodkin. And the thing is, he might see the numbers and be tempted to, but with good micro, it's a dangerous fight to take here. Well, he's getting Bodkin now. That's true. Uh -oh. It's so close. Eight versus nine again. Now it's nine yeah, versus you gotta nine. Go back. Okay. Yeah. So two kills for Say My Name, one for ACCM, all of those kills matter. And do not run towards the castle! Split! Okay, he's fine. 30 right, get that relic, yellow. Get it. Yeah. Before he does. He's making a barracks, Dave. So does that mean he wants a stable for bloodlines? Stable in archer range, yeah. Yeah. Look at the food eco, though. We're looking at 600 food, 600 gold. And two castles. And wow, 500 food, 800 gold. Their imp times are going to be so close. This is this is great. How much do relics matter as well on a map where there's so much extra gold out there? Well, I mean, against Mongols, they're going to have a Hussar raiding all over the place. Yeah. Realistically. so And that stuff is super exposed up at the top. Good point. I feel like every time I've watched this map... Even if a player has full map control, it's really hard for them to capitalize on those golds up top there. Yeah. It's like they always get raided somehow. It's a good point. The relics are very secure. And who will click him first? Say and my name, gonna Will. It's going to be Say My Name. Yep. Incredibly close. Wow. And I love... Man, they're both setting up castles for a big post him fight. Oh, man. The same my name's Mangadai just missed that villager from ACCM. I see I think that. it hit him once. Yeah. How did it hit him once and then stop? I don't I don't know. But he's gonna have a villa behind. Yeah, outposts. Just just for some vision would be nice. And now the monk's coming in to take the relic. No way. Can't you let can't let that. that happen. You can't let him get that. Uh, by the oh, way, there yikes. is no relic or wonder victory in Hidden Cup qualifiers or in the main event of Hidden Cup. I, I really, I feel like the next event I do, I will allow Relic Victory. <laughs> Just like, the odds that that would actually happen are so slim. Well, Makes the it thing interesting. is, it, it, even if you get them, it just turns into like a full camp fest. Yeah, so yeah. it's just not fun to it's, watch. It's not how pros would normally play anyways. Wow, okay, so okay. now we're comparing upgrades. I think good fight here for, um, say my name at the beginning, but look at that. I Ooh. think Ballistics is in for ACCM, whereas yep. it's not for Say My Name. Yep, Ballistics came in. And now ACCM will see the castle and back up. That was fairly even, uh, but I, it's all about the total numbers. Dave, it's 17 to 19 right now. But Say My Name, don't toss away. Don't toss away a Mangadai. Five relics and for another ACCM. another castle going to be coming down from Say My Name pretty soon. Is it going to be in the middle here, or is it going to be up top? Probably. I think you place it near where that outpost is. Yeah. Just build a long line of castles across the center, and then fight in the middle. That that outpost villager is doing a lot of good things here. Why are you attacking like villagers? The ACCM is attacking villagers right now. Yeah. yeah. Why why are you attacking villagers here? I guess the Mangadai losses weren't as big as we expected, but. You snipe the some bills, but then you lose your numbers. Yep. Yep. Yeah, there's okay, the castle. Okay, there's the castle up near that outpost. Alright, so guys, we're talking Elite Mangadai, lots of resources. Bracer, Chemistry, lots of resources. Parthian, Thumb Ring, Bloodlines, Husbandry, and the Armor. Mangadai are insane, but it takes so much to upgrade them, and every upgrade no matters here. Okay, now Bracer's in for ACCM. He's got the monks. I think this is bad for uh, for yellow here. Yeah, it looks like it. The monks making a difference in a Mongol war. It's not something you say, see every day. I think that castle goes up, but ACCM will be. It. Yeah. Yellow has to fight here, but he's gonna ACCM is gonna be happy with the amount of Magadai kills, but the castle up in time. Yep. Dave, also worth noting that Parthian came in nice and quick for say my name. And there was no Parthian. Yeah, there was no Parthian for ACCM, but he's first to the Trebs. Now, Mangatai could snipe Trebs. They're insane against Trebs, but if you don't have the numbers, you can't really justify diving in there to do that, right? So I'm liking the momentum for ACCM. If he uses this momentum to get the win, he will play in Hidden Cup 3 with Hidden Identities in March. Skirmishers switch from Say My Name. 
that's food that you could be using for your Magadai upgrades. Yeah. If, if you go Skirmisher Switch, that means you've accepted that you're going to be behind in the Magadai numbers. It's not a great sign for him. And not even Elite Skirmisher in yet. Takes a lot of time, man. He, he's, he's queuing up Skirms. He doesn't have Elite Skirm clicked. Takes a long time to research that as well. And this is a never-ending cycle of repair now, and it's very difficult to deal with the Trebs, too, when the castle's there. Perfect castle spots from ACCM. Okay, so once Elite Skirm is in, Thank you, you go and try and snipe the Treb. You yeah. use the Skirms yep. to push back the Magadai? Yep. Yep, you definitely do. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. You could still make your own Magadai. Use the Skirms against the Magadai. Use your Magadai against the Treb. Oh, oh! He's going against the Mangadai numbers. There we go. Yeah, probably. It's a lot of clicking involved here. Elite Mangadai is now in, though, for ACCM, who is behind heavily when it comes to the eco. Uh, keep in mind the relics are still there, but... Elite Mangadai, there's such a big difference between that and regular Castle Age Mangadai, and no Elite on the way for Say My Name. And, and he... a castle. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you just can't. Forward castle. The thing is... Oh, he's Hal's too! Oh no, say my name doesn't have the pop space! So he, he can't even produce any more military. This is not looking good for him. The trade versus the Mangadai is nice, but he needs to take that castle out. Back up, ACCM, back up. Just now getting thumb ring. Wait a second. Just now getting thumb ring. He might not be able to push past this. Say my name no, is trading versus the Mangadai. Whoa, those trebs on the Mangadai. He's gonna lose his Mangadai. And the castle is a doubt castle, at least for now. There's one villager building it. Yeah. On, on three HP. Just let him build it. Yeah, let him build it and just destroy it, right? Uh, again, doesn't it feel like ACCM should still be in a better position because he can oh, yeah. make Mangadai and their elite? Yeah. He's got the better <laughs> army, it's just, say my name has the better eco. It's so weird that he switched into skirmishers so early. Yeah, like, I don't they think were on he even needed counts. to. Oh, and now ACCM saw the TC. With the outposts from earlier, he knows the Vils went out here, he'll deny that gold. Why did he build a gate <laughs> against ranged units? That's funny, he built a gate here as he's trying to treb down and will treb down, say my name's castle. Obviously, his mangas are out I call of position. That's a treb war right there. Yeah. That's a real treb war. Is this a Britain's war or a Mongol's but, war? Oh, uh, this is not looking good for Say My Name at all. Oh, I think this. This the could way be it. ACCM is playing this, yeah, this might be it here. He kills the trebs. Only one castle left over. The production buildings are all forward. Yep. And it's so easy for ACCM at any point to just get that food eco up and transition and into even... Hussar. Yeah, if ACCM pushes forward, like, where does he even take wood? Look at Say My Name's Woody Co. in his own base. Oh, God! It's not, it's, it's not hot. No, he can't expand, and he probably hasn't realized this until now. Everything is getting mopped up. He doesn't have enough elite skirmishers. The score is switching. Hussar will come in for ACCM. Yeah, man, you have to expand on this map, and ACCM's pressure in early imp has just prevented that expansion. And the outposts, how, how big was that? Oh, and yep. he even has one Mangadai left there. The villagers want to finish that TC desperately. And he's going to drop a castle there, too. And we'll see if that castle actually goes up. You just don't stop this. There's a reason you don't go for skirmishers early. Because yep. Mangadai still can shred those skirmishers. I guess the town center went up. This is the weirdest doubt castle you'll ever oh, see. Oh, look at the villagers all migrating to new woodlines. But there's enemies there. Oh, uh, no. Say my name's got his entire ego on the move. And the funny thing is, he needs wood, but he will also need houses here in a second. <laughs> After losing the castle, he's not going to have the wood to build the houses that he needs. It's over. It's over. ACCM will move on. He's denying the lumber camp. Wow, it's, it's sad when this happens, right? When you have someone as good as Say My Name get so close. But this is what qualifiers are all about. You have to show up. You have to deliver. ACCM won the previous game without berries on a map where that's important. I just... You just... GG. Yep. What a series, Dave. What a series. That was sick. 
it really shows how good both of these players are. I felt like ACCM had the better strategy um, choices, but Say My Name had some epic plays. Yeah. Like, the micro was on point. The way he won water, even in this game, was pretty convincing, um, especially without the uh, wood upgrade right away when he yeah. gets in Feudal Age. It's... Uh, it was a really, really good show. We're talking about very, very small things when it comes down to uh, some of the mirror matchups and some of these games. Um, this is how competitive the qualifiers are, guys. This is how competitive. Uh, six games could have gone either way. When I when I think back, Dave, ACCM had an awful game one. I think Berbers was probably the weirdest choice. But mm -hmm. think about hideout game two. Think about what was possible there for uh, for yellow, but he didn't take advantage of it with Britons. Remember how yep. weird it was? He went Feudal Age Archers on a map with walls. Like, this is what you have to think about in the best of seven. Like, what game did I throw? What game could I have done better with? And there's a few out there. Uh, but chat, please uh, say my name. Actually watches my stream all the time. I don't know if he's watching right now. But if you could salute the crap out of him, uh, respect to you, my friend. That was an amazing set. I'm very sad that you will not be in the main event of Hidden Cup 3, but I think a lot of people didn't know who you were before today, and they realize you have some skills. Uh, and then ACCM, congrats for making it back in. He, he's in. Again? And, yeah, he's in again. We'll see what he can do. And Dave, would you say he's better this year than he was last oh, year? Oh, yeah. He's less, I would say he's less of a one-trick pony than he used to be. Mm -hmm. it, it always seemed like he was always uh, going forward. Yeah. And uh, I don't see that that often anymore from him. Yeah. He, he definitely, actually, you could say the same for a lot of the Vietnamese players. It was like tower, wall, and boom. But no, they're a lot more flexible than they were before. Awesome. Um, 